Hello, hello, I'm here for the last one on the edge, and this one is probably not as well received as Last Autumn. Uh, as you saw, Last Autumn had a lot of bugs and stuff going for it. Uh, this is not an isolated case. Uh, I actually looked it up after, and uh, it is a little bit buggy, and I'm sure the fact that I'm running under Proton, some other stuff didn't help uh, at all. So, a little bit of QA issues in Last Autumn, but Last Autumn was still really good. And I would still highly recommend it. On the edge, maybe not as much, but we can kind of finish off the story uh, to it. It's... I would say it's weaker than, like, uh, probably most of them. Uh, maybe maybe better than Winter Home. I'm not a huge fan of Winter Home, so I still like On the Edge better than Winter Home, but still got a couple of issues, but it's still fun. But it might have some bugs, but you know what? Anyway, pff, let's just uh, let's just dive into it. Doesn't matter. So this one is after the Great Storm exposed the warehouse. We are sent from New London to set up an outpost there. Times are changing. Will there be, uh, uh, what will be our role in the, in the coming thaw? Well, there's actually really no thought coming, uh, as we know from Frostpunk 2, but uh, for this one, it's uh, it's actually kind of an interesting scenario, but it's a little weird, too. So we'll, we'll, we'll kind of dive into it, and uh, I think, again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go play on Survivor again. I I kind of, I actually did it on my own. I played Survivor just fine, and I was like, oh, okay, this is actually not that bad, so it's it's not easy, but again, it's I think it's most of the scenarios are like this, where they're like, you know... You start it, and once you kind of get going, you're like, oh, this is this is fine, this is easy. The only thing I'll say, though, with Survivor is... That, well, I can't replay any choices, obviously, that I may, may do, or if someone dies, obviously someone can die. But there's only one real split path here. Well, there's actually two ways of playing this scenario, which I'll get into, but... Yeah, the, the, well, the choices don't really matter that much, which is one of the harsh criticisms of On the Edge. So that's kind of why it's not as well received, but we'll see the flaws and everything about it when we get into it. So without further ado, let's get started. They say the snow is dead, but we've learned to the contrary. Snow is ever-changing, unstable, restless. We survived the great storm. It took away a lot from us. Still, it gave us something in return. Tempestuous winds brought relics of the past to light. Ones that can bring hope for the future. Our assignment was simple. Arrive at the site, build a reliable camp, and create a stable chain of supply. In return, we'd get food and necessities. A square deal. But, Deals have this peculiar quality. Just like the snow. They tend to change. We are the outpost team. The Great Storm uncovered an underground army warehouse from times before the evacuation. New London sent us here to build an outpost and gather any resources we can find. You must rely on New London for food. There are no animals to hunt here, so the, and the ground is solid rock. So thankfully, the weather is fine for now, and we should so we should survive without the generator until we have other ways of heating. Let's get to work. So if you're particularly perceptive during that uh, cutscene, you'd notice that order actually went out <laughs> in London. They have the towers there. So that's one of the things. They were actually already kind of, I think, in full swing for making Frostpunk 2 here. So you can see we're on like a nice little cliff edge, hence uh, on the edge. And we can't make hot houses and we can't make hunters, so that's that to basically leave it too. So we know what to do. Our first task is to clear the road to the warehouse and to start gathering steel. Of course, let's not forget to set up some tents. Today is going to be cold without a generator, so that's it. So uh, right away, I'm just going to throw everybody onto the buildings I need to because it's actually work time right now. So we put the engineers on there and the workers on there, and I can start kind of uh, pausing it and kind of showing you around. So can't sign laws. Uh, laws are only signed by New London. Right now, we are merely an outpost. We do not have autonomy quite yet. So 
I say yet, because obviously, yeah, at some point, yeah. So we have to get New London to sign stuff for, for us, but we have to get into communication with them. But it's not just about clearing the warehouse. The warehouse takes a little bit more than that to make. It's got like a 20 person capacity and you make steel out of it for now. Uh, but there's more to it than, than just that. Uh, we, we we will probably be doing it on the third day is when it, if, if I'm lucky that's when it's gonna basically come into play but yeah that's 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 what we have to do so I'm gonna start tearing up some roads here I'm very particular about how I do it so I'm gonna leave a little sliver of road here there's a good reason for that don't worry about it just leave it there the way it is but everything now so we don't have a generator anymore and it's that right now negative 20 that is actually incredibly important the negative 20 degrees because there is no heat zone for them to go to uh, so they are staying in negative 20. remember about the temperature averaging thing making people sick well that's why on the for after the first day i would essentially have one medical outpost and that would overheat the generator and then they would be like, like four or five people sick typically uh, right now, it will be uh, probably, uh, if you have more than 10, something went wrong. But it will be about 8 to 9 people sick, most likely, after the first day. So we have a lovely steel wreckage here that we're supposed to clear to get it there. We can't actually make a road all the way to that area, because you can't you can't make it here. It just says no, you can't do that. So there's, there's some steel wreckage here, there's some wood over here, wood over here. Some trees over here, I don't think you can actually do much with these, if I recall. I, I don't know, we can, we can see with the so I don't think so. I don't. I don't usually go for these. Uh, you get uh, coal, wood, and coal wood again. A bunch of where a bunch of wreckages, and there's a beacon here. So the, the beacon is pre-built, thank goodness. And you get a bunch of wood here as well. Uh, you get one coal mine. Although uh, steam cores are essentially currency in this, so we don't really want to use it uh, for anything. Uh, basically of that of that nature we don't want to make anything with it the build here is very tight to keep people alive and survivor at least so we took down as many roads as we could if we disconnect the beacon that'll stop working so that's why we have to do that uh, around we can basically see a couple of scouting locations uh, but we don't have the wood required to send anybody out plus we really want to abuse that whole thing where you send sick people out on scouting uh expeditions because that's uh, that's awesome every single time uh we do have new london uh, our favorite is currently low with them and their home city, but Favor is a mechanic I'll get into as we go. Uh, 527 people survived the lovely storm, uh, and, that, and that's essentially it. So Favor is something you can do to get things you need, but uh, like I said, we'll, when we get there, we'll get there, and you'll see what it's all about. So right now I'm waiting for 5 Steel to make a workshop, because research is pretty important. So what we do is we take every all the engineers off, so they were starting to walk up there, but then I, I made them come back. So they, even though they weren't at the location, they were actually gathering resources, and I put them onto this one, so they're right now building. And then I put the five that didn't get to put be put on there back onto wood, and that's it. So that's that's a first day's priority. And as for research tree, so like I said, no generated heat at all. Uh, this, this technology tree is actually pretty barren, but that's good because, uh, to be honest, there's like a lot of technologies that we don't really want here. <laughs> and, and other stuff here, so I'll just go with that. Uh, it's it's kind of rough because it's like resources are not like we have no consistent like resource sinks except for that steel that you see there, or, or the coal. But the, you don't use coal to research stuff. So so you get brazers that comes back from uh, uh, last autumn. That's definitely the highest priority because it's the only heat zone we get early on, and we have a really nasty temperature drop coming real soon. Uh, we get some heaters as well. Uh, for exploration industry, no outpost teams, you'll notice. And there's also no automatons for some reason. I'm not sure why those are not in, but they're, they don't, they do not make a return. So apparently the two expansions, no automatons whatsoever. Uh, you get some faster gathering over here. Uh, that's going to be kind of useful because I am going to go a lot more into uh, essentially coal thumpers. I'm not bothering with coal mining because, again, uh, steam cores are kind of an important resource for me. And uh, then sawmill, uh, we can do sawmill and one upgrade to it, and that's it. Uh, I don't bother going too much far down the tree because you really run out of the resources for sawmill really fast. You get some food shelter stuff. Again, there's no food whatsoever. You get to do medical post upgrade, infirmary, bunkhouses, things like that. That's essentially it. So the thing we're targeting is we're targeting to get heat zones probably by day two, as well as uh, a little bit of, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, essentially to have this entire base going by about day three is is why I target and I'll show you how I kind of get to it but yeah so first day I try not moving people around too much because I want them to basically gain resources as quickly as possible all right so out of the first one 
Gathering post. So as I as I kind of said, you leave it to you can't actually get this to do both. I, I mean, you're going. I know you could go like, oh, right here, but you need a road connection, right? So you can't actually really get it here. It's really these ones really suck because you can only get like one into it. You can't get them both, no matter how much you try. So yeah, <laughs> it's just it's just the name of the game here. Kind of just sucks. I'm just debating, do I want to go up here or? I, I don't. I want to be careful about how close I am to this guy. So, I think we'll we'll start that one here. So we'll have one gathering post here, one over here that hits essentially three of these buildings, and then another one here. We make the road up and not below is one of the important things. I'll, I'll, I'll save the road for that one in a minute because what I have to do is we do have to make one medical outpost. You could now most people in Survivor I've seen them make two, but I get away with just one because. I'm very strategical about how I do it, so. And for the last one, I put, like, two houses, so that there's space for one more over there. And then put a road in the middle of them. So, to make the last road, we would need six wood. I don't mind, actually, get in touch with New London. We need to build the transport depot so we can get the supply ship from New London before food runs out. Get in touch with them, and that post administration will be necessary. So, I'm going to... I think I need six wood, right? Yeah. So I'm going to take out some of the wood. I don't mind it doing that because wood becomes less of a problem later. I got kind of unlucky actually with this one. I just noticed so. And I'm going to start taking people off of certain things. So as I kind of talked about, these things really suck. I really hate these things because like they're really awkward to basically use up all the, the wood crates. You'd have to like put up a, a gathering post and it doesn't seem really worth it a lot of the time for me, but I don't know. It is what it is. So. All right, no roof over heads, I'll provide some shelter. For some reason it goes, to, it says 32, but it'll di I made three houses, and for some reason most of the time it'll just satisfy the conditions for that. I don't know why. It just does. So first thing is the engineers will put into here, into the medical, and we're going to put as many as we can into essentially gathering posts. Because gathering posts is actually the only heat that we have. If we actually kind of look, these, these are livable, all of these. And this one's very comfortable, that, that one, but that's it. That's all we get. And anybody who's not essentially in a house or working is essentially in just the raw elements at this point. And I will put 10 people in there, and that's it. So there you go. That's that's essentially end of first day what we want to do. We're still trying to get as much wood as possible. Uh, actually, we may want more steel. No, no, no. We want, we want, we want wood actually initially because we want to bring this getting the getting team after the first day. That's it. So not a lot of people have the houses, and I'll eventually I think, yeah. So there you go. People are starting to get into those healthcare locations. I'm just trying to try to see if you get more than, by the way, ten people sick, just restart the scenario. That's <laughs> what I'd say. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. It goes shelter promise fulfilled. I totally didn't do that. I didn't do thirty-two. I did thirty. But for some reason, it sees that as okay. It sees that as you fulfilling the promise. Don't know why. Wouldn't be able to tell you. All right. So, beginning the next day, what we're going to do is I'm going to first move some people around so that we're maximizing the amount of... Oh, I guess that's an engineer that's sick. Uh, well, that's not much I can do about that. And he can still work, so I guess there's really no reason for me not to make him work, so... So, we're trying to get people who are sick to not be not be in buildings that are uh, effectively uh, don't have heat zones. The engineer is now in treatment. Okay, good. So, I'm gonna move him out. Okay, there we go. The engineer will just be not doing anything, that's fine. I can, I can put him in here. So we're waiting for that, thir that lovely 42. There it is. So what we're going to do is anybody who is going to work, anybody who's working right now that is not in treatment, we will take off of thing. There's supposed to be three of them working. Where is he at? Oh, he's at a workshop. That's fine. We can't, we can't remove him. So you just look around for people who are supposed to be sick, but they're working right now. Take him off of the whatever project. I guess they're not around, so. So, yeah, this guy's carrying resources. Treatment, treatment, treatment. And one more. There you go, five. And we take them into the beacon, and we send them down to the collapse building. That's the important thing to, to send them to, and that's it. And there's nobody else around. There's that there's that lovely last engineer, but he's, he's going to be in treatment now, so he's not even going to be doing anything. 
I'm trying to remember if I want to put a little bit more into... No, I think we're good. We can just keep it the way it is. I could probably just put the, like, ten more into here. And there's, there's a particular, uh balance of steel that you want and at the end of the day at the end of the first day you definitely want to have uh, as much steel as you can all right there's your brazers and the next one put heaters in and the other thing is that i just realized that there's someone in treatment here where's my other engineers all right put them all into here if there's someone still sick he's in treatment yeah I know it's a little weird, but I'm trying to. I'm just trying to keep everybody in the buildings that makes the most efficient. And also keep the research going as fast as possible, and that it really does matter. You need to go as fast as possible. For All right. First things first. We're gonna get this lovely building completed. Let's see. So that's the, that's our brazier. We really do need that. We're gonna just only make one brazier though, and we're gonna make one more medical outpost like out here in the middle of nowhere. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. And we also really do need that cookhouse. So we're about like a little bit into heaters. That's all we were kind of able to finish. But that's why I kind of was rushing it at that point. Because I was trying to get it to go as, as fast as possible. All right. Now for this next one, we want to get as many tents. It depends how lucky you are with how this is laid out. It's... Yeah, I can't, I can't ever really get to do more than one. It's, it's really weird. That one seems to be a little bit larger, but eh, it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna put another one here. All right, and then one more tent, I guess, over here. That's it. That's all the, that we can afford for this. We can technically put down another brazier. I'm not going to use that though. And at the beginning of this day, we're going to basically shuffle people from any engineers that are in things that they're not supposed to be. I'm going to take out. But we have, we have at least housing for everybody now, because there's like three houses being made plus that last one. And they should use that one last, is typically what they do. And we can put like three workers into that last building and then that's it. There you go, we got some sick people, that's fine. I can also put as many as I can into, into the gathering post and that, and that should be good. All right, so end of this day, pretty good. Don't, like I said, don't make another heat zone here. Uh, I, I would not do that, even though we're about to have a temperature drop, because we we, we actually do need that steel. <laughs> so, and there you go. There's our set coming in. If it goes, you, it should be about ten. This is why I prioritize always the medical outpost over the uh, everything else because it, you don't. You notice how the the research tree is actually rather barren, right? You don't have actually as much, but you do have sick people problems a lot in this scenario. So, it's gonna be a high priority. Uh, there's a collapsed building. We we're standing in front of a ruined building whose purpose we cannot guess. It's possible that it was only a remainder of a larger complex. What? Perhaps it was a mountain shelter or maybe a military watchtower. A shred of a white flag flut flutters in the wind above it. God only knows uh, how it survived. There's no telling <laughs> if it's always been white or has lost color over time. Found a stone wall. It's a French uh, outpost, obviously. So uh, we only get 12 uh, wood out of this. Uh, so uh, this is actually a recurring thing in this scenario where you actually don't get a lot of resources. I guess the implication is that a lot of it was picked clean by, by New London and you're just kind of getting the scraps. But there's a, it's still worth it to send outpost teams out because we're going to have a couple of other other guys. So we're going to try and get that w raw food done as soon as possible. ASAP. Alright. So uh, once again, we are going to dismiss people and put people into... These are going to go eat, that's fine. I'm just rearranging people. I think I didn't quite do it right, did I? I went still in treatment. Remember, it's, yeah, prioritize people. I don't know why it doesn't do it automatically, but it just doesn't. All right, and what's this one need? Two sick absences, once again. Take these guys, two out of here, and two out of here. 
dismiss and put them back in. It will always prioritize the, the, the well people and that's it. So if you kind of look around, yeah, we got those three. They, they ran out of resources as well. So we're, we're just 100% prioritizing the steel wreckage at this point. And that's it, so. Uh, these idiots are gonna go eat though for some reason. They're they're screwing up everything, but yeah. I probably should I probably should have waited on the cookhouse. Actually, if I was smart, I would have actually waited on the cookhouse until I had sorted out the sick people, because it's essentially been most of the day where that hasn't been functioning, which is really annoying. But that's uh, I guess the name of the game. Uh, alright, so so by the end of the by the end of today, and I can probably put them on here but by then today we need 25 wood 15 steel and also where's the other one yeah this one here so 45 wood so we need a lot of wood and uh, it's mostly steel i always I, I need like 35 steel so we're basically al almost there but you can you can rearrange people they should bring a bit more steel out of one of these buildings if i'm like one short i i get okay there we go we're all good there we go okay so this is how, at the end of the day, you're able to get everything going for the next day to basically have food and everything, because food has to come from New London. So we have to make that transport depot is the first important thing, and we have to make an administration. So I just make that right over here, is all I do. And the last part of it is I'm going to put the road going all the way up here. Apparently I need 17 wood for that. How did I not have enough wood for that? Uh, I don't think there's anything I could cannibalize for wood though that I didn't expect to not have enough wood I don't think I've ever had that happen but regardless I can I can kind of get that done at the beginning of the next day I'll just have it be like right here and then these people will just essentially be uh, I'm not gonna bother making them work on wood crates it's actually really bad for them they're like gonna be moderate risk of falling ill that's one and there's there's the last one. So here's stone wall, wall like like formation and cross our path. It's almost like the work of human hands, and you get wood and steel out of that. So if you like testimony of the past, we notice how uh, we notice how some uh, stone covered shapes in a niche shelter covered by rock uh, and a walk wall. After a while of digging, we uncovered several frozen bodies huddled together by a couple of bro bro broken sleds. Judging by their clothing and gear, they were scouts just like us. We found some valuable resources on their sleds. So 52 wood, 44 steel. Probably one of the best ones, and that's, well, that's actually why we went, we, we went over there. We went over there just for that. That's all we went over there for. So the cook castle will just remain not functional because, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So as soon as this finishes, we should get New London to contact us. There we go. So uh, this is the communication screen. This is going to be a recurring mechanic. This is a lot of what this scenario is based upon. It's, it's a mixed bag, but you'll see. Uh, but good day, Outpost 11. We're well done with the progress so far. We'll send you the first uh, food, sh food shipment soon. Now that the operation is established, we await the first batch of steel from your outpost. In the meantime, we are dispatching a group of clerks to run the outpost administration. Your children will arrive with them. They are sure eager to join you. Remember that uh, we can always assist you with any problems. So you get a uh, we have to talk and understood kind of screen. So we say, uh, first off, we say we have to talk. So we can say, what is our task again? We say, uh, to explore the warehouse and retrieve as much steel as possible. We expect at least one shipment every few days. We'll be sending you food every day. All right, better get back to work. So you, with the favor that you get, you can say we have problems and you can ask basically any outpost. Uh, this is gonna be a thing, there's multiple outposts in this. You can ask them for something. Uh, in particular, we need food for this scenario. So you can say we need more coal, we need more wood, or we need more raw food. Uh, we will do that, but our favor with them will be exhausted. So they're going to say, request is granted, but keep in mind this will take a lot of effort on our part, thank you. So this is odd. There must have been some kind of misunderstanding. Our children were not supposed to join us, not so soon. This won't make things any easier for us. Well, it's too late to turn back, at least New London promised to also send us food our way. Hopefully they'll keep the schedule. So the food I asked for is coming, and we should get food at the beginning of every day for now, so we'll see. So there's your first shipment that we have to bring steel and, and, and stuff with it, so we're going to let the people do their thing. And that's why I kind of made that first so we can get that food shipment going because we're starting to have people starving. And when that comes in, we can get some people to kind of work on that building essentially. So there it is right there. We also have a group of people coming and we're going to have to make housing for them as well. So that's going to be kind of a priority the next day as well. So Let's get this shipment ready. Uh, do I have... Yeah, a few people ready. Alright, so what I'm going to do is the last one I will build the last couple streets. I'm going to basically prioritize them to do that building there. 
I need to take some people off of something. Probably I'll take them off of that. Also, we well, we don't have the heaters yet. How do we not have the heaters yet? There we go. Now we have the heaters. Heater. Basically, everything gets a heater. The armor warehouse should have a heater. So why are these people not building what they're supposed to? I don't know. Anyways, we'll get this guy to do faster gathering now. Just to get the last bit of it, and it also just comes in handy. Guess I'm just gonna keep them over here. I'm going to go build. Okay, I guess it's that guy. Alright. So, maximum priority on that warehouse there, and we have the heaters going for it. Is there any other heaters that we can have going? That one's done here too. That's all good. We will now put them back onto this warehouse over there, and that's it. Alright. So we're just going to keep it. Administration doesn't really matter. Uh, you can put whatever, whatever you want on it, and that's it. So unfortunately, uh, did they just eat all the food immediately? All right, so we've got 64 food and 44 steel out of it. So our children arrived. So the clerks sent by New London to run the uh, outpost administration in here. They brought their children with them. Many of our people are really upset. They, it looks like the, our kids were neglected. They haven't had enough warm clothes and some of them caught a cold on the way. And now they're here. We have to, we can take proper care of them. We'll do our best. Fortunately, the food is not here yet, but yeah. Uh, remnants of building. So, New London, th this is the reason why the scenario kind of is weird. It's a little bit buggy, because for whatever reason, I didn't get a second food shipment, which I kind of expected at the beginning of the day, but it sometimes doesn't happen. I, I don't really know why. And we can get another brazier here going. Yeah. Oh, that one still does that shipment. I'm going to do it down here, though. It's really, it's really kind of awkward how this uh, one works. And we have some people absent, but that's fine. A trove of steam cores. Sir, we have great news. The warehouse contains an unknown but very large number of steam cores. We immediately sent news to New London and await instructions. In the meantime, we might try to haul at least some of them into the surface. This will require stopping the steel extraction for some time. Let me think it over. Our first priority is the, the steel, just to get that, that shipment kind of finished there. So, we'll get it going. I think I'm gonna have someone die because for some reason it just it, we RNG somehow and didn't have it work out the best. But yeah, anyways, uh, we heard there's a, there, a cache of steam cores was found in the warehouse. This is a very timely discovery. These devices are critically important for the security of our city. We send a couple of steam cores with each steel shipment from now on to help you ensure timely deliveries. You are hereby authorized to use emergency shifts. If you encounter any obstacles to your progress, talk to us and we'll find a solution. Okay, so we'll say we have to talk. We can't do anything else, and that's it. So emergency shift edict, uh, we're not going to be using it uh, because we're going to have, well, we can use it, but we can use it for the, uh, well, the, the research outpost and that's it. We'll use that on that. We're not going to use it on the steam course uh, initially, so. Because, yeah. Uh, so the important thing is uh, for the first shipment, uh, we will not send anything over until they give us uh, extended shifts this is going to be the, the key. I, I'm not going to bother with that. No roof over our heads, once again. I will just say I will provide it for everybody, because I will provide it for everybody. <laughs> so, bit bigger promises. Let's see, I'm just going to make sure that's actually hit there. There we go. Get those last two in there. And that should be it. Okay, so... I hope I... I've always had some bugs with the, uh, the food. So one of the things you could do is, like, if you're really stingy upon sending uh, the shipments to New London, they sometimes will get really pissy and they will just uh, not send you anything. Uh, they will just not give you any food. Uh, apparently that may have been an intentional part of the scenario. <laughs> so, but that's, uh, that's kind of it. But we do want to send out one eventually for it. So that's how it is. I'm going to make one more medical outpost because I'm going to try and put someone in there. Hopefully whoever is starving will not die. Faster gathering finished, and what we're gonna do is so we get hand carts as a part of it. We'll do that one next. So we get so we get a couple of researches to basically help out with the tree there. So it's hand carts right now for a raising outpost by uh, output by twenty percent. It wooden supports where you can spend wood uh, to raise efficiency by efficiency by fifty percent for twelve hours. We will not be doing that because that one's a well not well we will eventually, but like we're not gonna do that right now. It's not a huge priority, and then the rest of it is just whatever. So. All right, shelter promise fulfilled. Hope that fills the belly of whoever was apparently starving a little bit. 
So for this last medical outpost here, what I can do is I can divert two people from it to just have housing for these sick people, which I have a lot of sick people, so. We don't really have, we don't really get any more engineers, so we have to divvy it up however we can. And here's our incoming food shipment, so we got six hours and hopefully that will be okay. I'm gonna just try and have the, these people on it. Uh, I can just move them around. So, the first one is remnants of a building. Indeed, a large building stood here once. The size and number of chimneys suggest it might have been an inn. But now, their collapsed remains is all that stands uh, uh, but among stone eyes. So we got wood and steel out of it. So, we would love to eat here. Before the frost, there was probably a road here that led uh, from the bay to the plains, but it must have been frequented since it, there was an inn beside, beside her. This place is undoubtedly nice. The feet of uh, the feet of mountains with the view of the sea on the horizon, that's all we can guess from the ruins sticking out from underneath the ice. We got fishery and Nansen's Stormwatch over there. So I think it's actually referring to, I guess the, I, I think it was the inn that we found in Lost Autumn. So anyways, we're gonna go to for, uh, Forgotten Fishery. So stay on the left path here is what I would definitely suggest to you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to, since this is being the next day, I'm gonna see if I can Okay, I can't quite ask him for more food yet. We're, we're trying to get more food or food-related laws. And I'm trying to basically maneuver them to do that for me. So let's see if I can do it one more time. No, we can't do that. I'm not going to ask for anything else other than food, essentially. So we'll see when it comes in, maybe. Okay, do that. Can I... Nope, I can't ask for it. So we're going to wait on that. We're not going to ask for anything else because there's no reason to ask for anything else. Why, why would we want anything else other than more food at the moment? So, All right, hand carts are finished. And with that, we can go into... So coal thumper is going to be important. It depends how much coal we have. Sawmill is also pretty important. Let's see how much coal we have left. We, have, we still have a fair bit of it, so we can actually go into the... Where's the research? We can go into the wood now. So, yeah. Get, get the sawmill going, and that's it. So, that will be the next priority. So, this guy is completely and utterly done. That's fine, and I don't even need to actually do anything with that anymore. So, we'll just uh, leave that the way it is. Unfortunately, they're going to go eat because they're all hungry. Okay, looks looks like we were lucky, and we didn't actually get anyone who died of starvation. <laughs> I actually kind of expected that, to be honest. It would seem a little buggy there, but yeah. We have enough food now as well, which is good, because we got like 41 wood, so we're, we're doing good now. We're doing good. Uh, we can divert people out of here. There's not much else we could actually do with them at the moment. I'll just like make them get some wood or something. All right. I... I'm really just trying to get them to get get me more uh, food stuff. It's like at the beginning of the day, you get a bit of favor, and also if you fulfill their request, that you, you get it too. So now that we have enough steel, I'm gonna switch this over to steam cores because they're not working at it anymore, and we can just uh, it will just basically spin around and that's it. So we want to do we do want to fulfill their one request at some point. Or maybe you should have been doing it yesterday, but because they have some steel here, but not a whole lot. It's it's actually not a big deal. All right, gathering post. We can now tear that up. Because we no longer need that. And if if the uh, treated ever goes below 10, you can put them all into one. Because it's not that efficient, these outposts. It's more that I'm just trying to keep this sick. Uh, of kind of like, you know, unsick kind of a thing. Is really what I'm trying to do at the moment. Let's see. We can also take out that. I, I always keep the heater on for the armored warehouse. There's no reason not to. But we don't need the, the heaters on for the gathering posts. But we will need it for the next the day after. All right. So for this one, we get some wood and raw food for the front fishery. So this is a sheltered cove that was a convenient place for fishing once, till the seas froze and a thick snow cap buried everything. Strong winds blew the stone away, revealing the remains of fishermen huts. Remains of the fishermen huts and tents are scattered among the ice. The wood is crumbled to splinters. It won't be any use to us. And so we get some very little food and very little wood. We can get this last one, this Observatory Ruins. Once again, let's see if we can ask for... We could say we need more raw food. And so if you do this... So this is interesting. This is where things start to come into play. So I just asked for more raw food. He goes, this is clearly a resource management problem on your side, but we have an idea of how to solve it. But 
Food Economy Edict. To ensure the survival of the colony and to mitigate temporary food shortage, the, the government of New London issues an act regu regu regulating the use of raw food. From this day forward, soup should now be served in, in cookhouses rather than standard meals. Understood. Now, the thing about that is it's either one. It actually randomly gives you a law. You don't get to choose that. But yeah, I don't have anything else I can possibly give to them. That, and that's that slow inc uh, incre incrementing of, uh, of uh, what's it called, of, of uh, favor that I'm getting with them. So right now I have no favor with them again, so until I basically send out Steam Cores, I won't have any. And that's, uh, that's just how it is. Now, sometimes it's bad. It's a mixed blessing. Uh, so if you were to ask, and I had another option there of I need more workers. They do not send you more workers. What they do is they give you child labor. Uh, you could use that if you want to. Uh, it's only with, and you don't get any more children other than the 15 that you have right at the beginning here. You don't, you don't get any more than that. So that's uh, that's kind of the, what you kind of, it's it's always like a, yeah, it's always a mixed blessing kind of thing. But I, I will try to avoid the child labor just because I haven't never done that, I guess, with you guys. I've never shown you what the other pass is like, so I'll try not doing that. If you have someone die, you have to ask them to dispose of, like, I need a law to dispose bodies, and they'll usually give you cemetery. I don't think I've ever gotten the snow pits, but we really actually want the snow pits for this uh, scenario, because it's really actually quite rough to not have the snow pits, because uh, there's a lot of medical stuff in this, and not having organ transplants is like hell. So, at least for me. All right, so we just got our stuff below, so I'm gonna put them back in here. So we got less than 10 again. That's what we use the other medical outpost for until we get enough for uh, everything else here going. And for the next day, I'm going to probably place another... Uh, probably another heating location over here. But yeah, I don't... Use, I, th I think I normally don't go past like two workshops. So I, I'll put them over here and then that's it. That's, that's what I'll do for this. So right now, we're just trying to get uh, the remainder of whatever it wants for that. There we go. Okay. We're just trying to get their their steam cores at the moment is what we're doing. But we're not going to do overtime because if I do overtime, someone's going to die and then I have to go sign a law. Otherwise, they're going to get sick from the body. So, all right. We got less food. Sir, the workers unloading the shipment of food from New London noticed that it's quite a bit smaller than expected. All uh, The news is, of course, all over the outpost, causing much anxiety and anger amongst our people. Let's hope it's just a mistake and not a sign of more trouble uh, of travel at home. I see. So that was why I was trying to rush that soup thing, because that now we get more out of our existing food, essentially. And that's that's why I chose that one. Oh, right, here's a good one. Sorry to inform you, but due to circumstances beyond our control, your food supply will be reduced until further notice. We assure you that shipments will return to the agreed size as soon as possible. We hope that this inconvenience will not impede your progress. We expect you to keep the shipments on schedule. Keep up the, the, the good work. And that's it. We don't have anything else. We don't have time for that, so... Can't do anything else. I can't talk. <laughs> uh, so it goes, Outpost 11, is there a problem? You haven't dispatched a scheduled steel, uh, steel and steam cores shipment to us. To help you with fulfilling your duties, we will grant you the right to in introduce extended shifts. Use it wisely. And that's that's pretty much it. He doesn't have time for anything else. So we just got extended shifts to ensure the survival of the colony and to raise, uh, raise the resources delivery rate from Outpost 11. The government of New London issues an axe. Uh, on extended shifts from this day forward, uh, we can now do work shifts can be extended up to 14 hours. And as per usual, we use that everywhere, so. Uh, almost everywhere, at least. I'm still doing, yeah, that one. And that's that's it, so. We, we could, by the way, we could do a 24-hour shift to make them do the wood crates, but again, I don't, I don't really care too much about it, so. I just kind of leave them there if they if they're gone they're, they're 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 gone kind of thing so we got a comfortable heat zone now notice that coming up there on day 10 we will have a drop of two two levels of temperature so we have to make sure we're kind of like selling through that tech tree a little bit there so probably gonna need the coal thumper uh it's either coal thumper or i go for drawing boards i might go for drawing boards just to rush out because i think i think the coal we have like 200 right now as long as this one's oh wait no it's not never mind Change my mind. Coal thumper. I was like, uh, well, that is a coal pile, but it's going to run out. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem. We need that to go. <laughs> Once again, yeah, so they will not do anything with us because we didn't give them anything, and that's it, so. 
So we're just trying to get that last steam core for them. I don't think we will get two of them, but we can get two of them at the beginning of the day. So there you go. Observatory ruins, wood and steel. Uh, turn, close up, it turns out the building is not in such good conditions as it seemed. The walls are par partially collapsed and the dome structure is damaged. Part of it fell inside. And the end of science. A roof dome collapsed a long time ago, probably under the weight of the snow, allowing Arctic climate to complete the work of destruction. The great storm took the rest. There's nothing here for us. We got some wood and some steel and that's it. So we could go back, and bring, we can bring it right back there and that's it. We're not doing anything else up there. But we do have a we be, we do have a bit of reserves for food and, and that's it. So uh, I can take out that last gathering post and I think we just got Salmo going. So just find a nice location for it because you're going to be basically probably tearing it up a couple times. And we got we got a temperature drop tomorrow to worry about. So got 15 people but I, I i like to try and allocate it so that the sick people are the ones who primarily go and essentially are removed all right there you go so not much else we have to do we could get like i said the, the child labor stuff i could get get that going but like i said i'll try and do it without that this time for a change because uh, yeah it, there isn't like a major bonus to it to be honest because you don't really want the the, I guess it, it doesn't really make a difference for research because you run out of research really fast. So I'd really just take the medical stuff to make the medical more efficient. But you know, that might be fun just to just try it. It's, trust me, when the labor is actually more, the child labor is actually way more efficient. First shipment ready. All right, so it's, uh, well, sorry, I didn't quite read through it, but it's like uh, the first shipment is ready. We can now send it to London. Uh, I would not delay it. I just just go ahead and send it out. It, it gets the this scenario progressing is is what we're trying to do here. So we're not trying to piss off New London or anything. So so there you go. We acknowledge the first uh, the dispatch of your first shipment. Well done. The steam core has been a lot to our people. Uh, we are pleased to know that the plan uh, we plan to send you food shipments every day. Just keep the steam cores and still coming. If the supplies you provide are deemed insufficient, we'll have to think of some consequences. And remember, if you run into some problems, let us know and we'll look for a solution. We have to talk. He will not talk to us and that's it. So the, the ire rises. Sir, uh, the news that uh, New London is pleased to tell us that, that they'll keep sending us for the food they owe us spread amongst our people. It's causing a lot of resentment and anxiety. The vague consequences they thre threaten us with uh, if, they f if we fail to please them further fan the flames of outrage. All the people um, are talking about now is how we should use the steam cores to help us first since we found them and have no generator unlike the folks in New London. So, yeah, I, for some reason I, I don't have any... Uh, I guess uh, the favor actually has to reach them for me to get it, so... Uh, I, by the way, I think I partially will know that the Steam Cores has like a, a, a like a, a decimal point, so you can switch it out at any point that you want to. I personally would not switch it out during the day because again, there's that time that downtime period, so I'm going to keep it on Steam Cores for now. Uh, like I said, I think it I think it does remember decimal points is is what it does do. So so we're we're pretty much fine for that. I'm going to put people into into the cookhouse now and also heat it as well. We'll get that last one going, we'll see. I could have actually had this second uh, workshop. I probably should get a second workshop, actually, now I think about it. Oh man, that's a terrible one. Uh, one, one second, let's do that. Is there uh, incoming food in 40 minutes? Okay, that's what I'll do. All right, I'll take them off and I'll put them back on in a second. Cause I, I'm like, I, I actually have never gotten like the sick this low before, so I'm like, I'm just kind of uh, flabbergasted actually. That I actually managed to get that to go like that. So we're going to divide more people into here, switch them over. That's it for food, we don't have any more. So my scout has a little bit of food left, and that should be good enough for now. Uh, these idiots are going to go eat. All right, so we got a bit of sick people left. We're gonna now start sending people around. I'm gonna just go to the frozen den. So uh, if you're gonna do something now at this point, you go towards the bottom because that's uh, where the scenario essentially progresses. There's no reason for us to go anywhere else. I probably didn't need that last uh, tent, but I think I kind of did because I, I think I had like 15 people sick at one point, so. 
For some reason, they're not going into the tents. Okay, so if that goes over five, once again, we're going to basically kind of shuffle things around. So our favor is right now average with them, so let's go see what we can possibly do to them. Um, so if you say, I want to address uh, growing discontent, they're going to give you the, uh, the public house law, which we don't really need. Uh, we can ask for more wood or coal. Yeah, it, it, so it does this on purpose where food is actually not really something you can ask for anymore. I'll still wait to see if I can do that, but yeah. And if you say you need workers, as I said, that does child labor. Uh, yeah, it's it, we want food. We don't want anything else. We, that's the, the thing we want to do. Let's go switch this over to steel now because we've got an additional one. I would not send any more shipments to New London because fuck them. <laughs> They're kind of they're they're assholes. So uh, why would, why would we send them anything? Not good bother. So gathering post has been depleted. So this one's done. We have literally no more coal. We can now start moving some things around. So let's see. Hurry up, people! We have a quota to fill. I'm gonna put two down here and put the also the coal thumper right beside it. There you go. Uh, I'm actually not sure if I want to do that one. One second, tech. No, we don't. One second. Move this back to here. There we go. Because the brazers, we're trying to get all these in here. To, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to heat up this location. And the coal thumper itself, I can just heat with, with uh, manually. So, so this one I'm going to set to the hours that these uh, buildings should be working. So. Actually, I can just turn it off for now, because there's actually nothing here functioning. Alright, drawing boards researched, and I'm going to go right into... Uh, not mixed cores. So, you do get a research upgrade to basically do uh, both steam cores and steel at the same time. I would not do that, because it is less efficient. Uh, I think about, about like, 10-15%. So, you might as well just switch it during the night, is, is, and just plan it out. Uh, the sawmill upgrade is pretty good. You get 25% out of it, but again, we're trying to deal with sick people most of, most of the time, and you get coal mining if you want to. Again, you've kind of seen the name, the the way the scenario works. It's you don't really want to be doing that. Uh, so if you get, kind of go around, you got the kiln if you want to. We uh, kiln, not kiln, sorry. <laughs> the kiln I don't bother with because we don't get enough wood, and wood is actually really important in this scenario as well. And there's not much else. Uh, bunk houses, once again, I, I never get that. I, I just always skip it and ju just do houses. I just always feel like it's more worth it to do. And then after that, yeah. I've never, and you've noticed this, I've, I don't think I've played a single scenario where I've actually made that, so. And I will turn this on, I think, again. All right, so put everybody in here. We will throw these all on. Where do I have people working right now? I guess, I guess it's just the fact I don't have the children doing anything. All right, well, our favor is high right now, so I can get more raw food. So, again, if I say more people, it will do child labor. I'm just going to say raw food. No, we can't afford it. Okay, well, they will not give us any. So, again, the, that wouldn't be the worst thing, actually, just to get that law out of the way, but we can also just get more wood because the laws are something that eventually doesn't become a problem. All right. And now our favor is average. We can go probably get something else from them. Remember, we're we're just trying to we're just trying to rob them for everything they're worth at this point. So, yeah, uh, frozen down. Let's have a look. So, no country for living beings. A terrifying and sad place. An animal that lived here was a long time feeding on prey that hunted in the area. After searching the cave, we found a predator, a bear mother with the young cubs. They're lying huddled together in the farthest corner of the cave. They did not survive the great storm. Uh, there's nothing to do here. Crumbling hut. Uh, there's actually not much for me to do over here, so I'll just stay over. I'll stay in this location. There's actually no reason for me to move him. I'm just going to keep him over there. Uh, I'm going to go dismantle. What are you dismantling? How about just don't do that? So we're just going to make some coal, but we have pretty good coal as it is. I'm just like, I'm like, I don't really want to sign the law for child labor because it's like I just said. It would help like minusculely now, but I could just ask for more coal or something. Fine, I'll just ask for the coal. <laughs> I wish I could just ask for more food, but you know, they're not going to allow me to do that because, yeah. So... We may have to send over one more shipment. We'll see. 
So, Elpos 11, we have some bad news for you. The rules governing your ship your shipments have changed. From now on, food supplies will be sent only after you dispatch a shipment of steel and steam cores our way. We regret the necessity of taking such drastic measures, but they were deemed essential to facilitate timely delivery of critical supplies. All right. So that's why I kind of didn't send bother anything else. Uh, we just, yeah, we didn't bother with it. So they should be... Triggering some kind of it. Yeah, here we go. So with that in mind, they basically go outpost administration. We must act sir Our people are angry and anxious about the food situation a group of experienced explorers is here to talk to you about a solution By cutting our food supply new London has shown that we can't rely on them We need another source of food fortunately our scouts report signs of recent human presence to the south send them to investigate This might be our lucky break. Let's hope so And this is why I kind of left him here because I'm just gonna send him directly to the natural terrace I could have like done it like slightly in between but eh. It's, it's whatever you're talking about a couple hours. So we need to do that immediately. Now, like I said, they will not send any more food until uh, until we send a shipment. We could use this shipment to get that food is one of the things we could do. And we probably will be using it because we don't have a lot of essentially leeway with it. it. We don't have enough of anything for it, so. All right, so we're starting to have people now being sick. So I'm going to move these guys back into that building because again, the temperature did drop, so. We did have a, a, a nasty one here as well, so... But luckily, I think... Do we have... How's our temperature doing? Oh, yeah, we'd have to... So, yeah, we don't get the next level of temperature until, like, uh, level, tech level 3, so we can't really do that. But I think we do get... No, we don't even get freight elevators, yeah. Yeah, it kind of sucks, because we're going to have a lot of sick coming in, but that's why we did the sick upgrade first. Just looking at if there's anything else. Yeah, more scouts won't do anything. I'm telling you, bunkhouses are like, I don't know. I, I, I always make do without it, so. We only have to last one day with it, but still, it, it does kind of suck. You got 10 sick now. Okay, there you go. Some of them are starting to go away, and that's it. All right, so we got our temperature just dropped a little bit there. That's all fine. Again, depending upon how many people are getting hungry, I may send out that... I, I really don't want to send out that shipment there. And I've, like I said, I've had bugs happen where it, like, they actually just don't send anything to you. They're kind of just assholes. <laughs> so, but then again, I am gaming the, the scenario a little bit, so let's do drafting machines, maybe. Yeah, let's do drafting machines. I don't see anything else there I particularly want, so... There you go. Elpos 11, you still haven't dispatched steam, steel and steam cores shipment to us. Our patience is wearing thin. You're hereby reminded of the need to put more effort into filling your duty. And that's it. <laughs> so there you go. Why didn't you send it yet? That might be the warning of, uh, of, you know, them saying, hey, we don't, we, we, we want you to send things out, you know. As long as our toil won't address that right now, it's okay. So we do have an extra free space there and some other ones around, but that's, that's fine. I might have to shuffle some people around. There's a fair bit of coal there, too. Actually, I'm going to move these guys into here. All right, so here's the first one, Natural Terrace. We get uh, this This view is promising. The valley seems cozy, and the Frostland st by st Frostland standards invites us to descend into it. The There's nothing remarkable at the terrace of itself. OK, there's a Suku Valley. We'll keep going down there. Again, I'll try and make it last, but yeah, that the hunger is like a, a major issue. Depends when it comes in. If I feel like I can get it done, I can. I'll try and get it done. We'll uh, we'll get some people collecting coal. Right, we don't have to actually have them on the coal mine itself. I just have to put them into here. All right, and our coal production is yeah, it's it's pretty good. So we're we're fine. I'm gonna not bother with the sawmill when it's uh, actually really, really like terrible in terms of the heater bit. So we're gonna have to need the heat for a little bit. I don't need the wood anyway, so I'm like I don't even know why I'm actually making do wood uh, wood right now. So now it looks like we will have enough people for the next day to go into here. So again, it's remember it takes like it's like delayed by a day for sickness. So at the beginning of the day is gonna be pretty good for this, but you know, it, like I said, it's gonna be pretty bad. All right, so secluded valley, we got some wood here. So people were here. Going further into the valley, you find remains of a grove. A large number of stumps is all that's left of it. Someone cut it down not too long ago. We found some fresh chips under the snow, hot springs. 
So the deal with uh, 100 steel and two steam cores is not a good deal, I want to mention to you. So we are not going to bother sending it over. I'm going to see if I can get anything else out of uh, New London. Hey, give me some coal, right? Yeah, thanks a lot. It's not going to give me anything else. So people are discontented. They're arguing and complaining. Maybe you should ask New London for, uh, for help. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> We're going to get coal. Coal helps with discontent. There we go. We got two, we got two coal dispatches coming over. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna intentionally put people into buildings that are heated at the moment. And let's see. So this one I'm not even bothering to even man at this point. Unfortunately, this is going to be moderate risk of falling ill. Nothing I could do about it. It's just the, that's just how it goes. But you see, I've, I've tried to work it out as much as I can so that people are working in buildings and they're gonna be I don't even know if I need this much coal for this, but we'll see. Because it's like, yeah, it's fine. It's just one coal day, it's it's fine. Or one coal per hour, but yeah. And it, you can see like these wood crates, I, I just, I never get any good use out of, so. Luckily the hunger is doing pretty good too. Uh, I guess I don't need anybody in here either, I, I just realized, because there's no food anyway, so. I could get them to do more coaling, the coal stuff, but it's like there's these piles right here. Right here, 300. All right, drafting technologies. Uh, so you can get now efficient burners. Improved heaters is very good. That that one's an excellent one because that's that applies to as well the uh, the army warehouse. Efficient burners are not that big of a deal because thirty three percent they're not actually burning that much. Uh, more scouts is the thing we want to do eventually, but I did just rush this research so. Free elevators might be actually the play actually here. Um, and infirmary is very, very good. That one's also excellent. That's something we want to do as well. I may actually just go for that right now. Because this this is like a way of, uh, effectively, you always just have enough, like, heat and or whatever. Like, you always have something to deal with uh, the sick, essentially, at that point. So I am considering to do freight elevators. Cause that's, that's an investment of technology, essentially. But I think we're going to need... I think we're going to need the uh, infirmary because remember the first day is uh, right now it's a very cold day so we're going to see how much sick, sick we have at the end. So we're getting our lovely coal uh, patches over here anyways. Food quality. So people are complaining about the, uh, the quality of food. They understand times are hard and full meals is a luxury. Are you really complaining about that now? New London is literally not giving us food. But yeah, but eating one uh, from time to time would make a big difference for them. Is there any chance of that? You could say you have three days to provide uh, 85 uh, standard food rations or discontent will rise. I will raise discontent every day of the week. Virtual on Survivor is particularly bad. That's fine. We'll, we'll do okay with the food. So everyone's starting to get hungry now. People are hungry. Uh, so Captain Sonner, people are talking about the lack of food. They've been hungry for days down the fear will begin to starve. They want you to do something. So we have three days to feed everyone. Let's feed them stockpile food or I won't address this. I'm going to just say three days to feed them. We'll be able to do that. It should be okay. Make a, make a small promise. Oh, the shipment is ready for dispatch. Oh, New London. Don't say it ain't so. All right. And we got a new one here. So we got hot springs. We need food. Uh, a small settlement built under the cover of rocks in which several pe dozen people live. It consists of several sturdy buildings and two large greenhouses heated by hot springs. Explorer. Here we go. Hot springs, a gift of life. Amazingly, people live here. And not only do they grow their own food, but they're willing to share it. This enclave of life uh, clinging to a few hot springs was settled after the great storm by people from a town which survived with the help of another city. I think that's a, that's an implication. That's New Manchester, actually. Uh, so I guess it, I guess again, it's canon. Well, once again, so I, I guess I wasn't sure about it before, but now I'm definitely sure that it, I guess it's all canon. They set up the the, the hot houses here and plant and planted seeds to say, uh, as I say, to pass the gift of life. They gave us some food as a gesture of goodwill and are eager to trade more in exchange uh, for help in expanding the settlement. Terrific. So they gave us some food. We're going to send that back. As well as the fact... So trade with Hot Springs. Now we found a promising food source. We should form a construction team unit in the transport depot and send them to Hot Springs to uh, do a permanent train depot. So we can... We're not going to bother talking with them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately send out... Uh, ten, 10 workers. Let's see. Maybe I'll wait until uh, some people are sick. 
Okay, so it's whoever is sick right now. Where are the sick people at? Uh, it's a child? Okay. It doesn't matter. Cole Thumper. Okay, so this guy's sick. So we need to free up 10 workers. Where are they at? There's one in treatment. Staying home. Again, remember all that stuff I said? Like, we're going to abuse the hell out of this, so. Oh, yeah, we got more sick. Okay. Come well, on, where are they all at? We got, like, seven people sick. Where are they? Who's sick uh, right now? Going to work? Yeah, you're not going to work. All right, we got six. Okay. I think I can just free up, like, Four more people, right? Yeah, there's four more people right here. All right, so we take we take that, and I'm gonna take them and make an outpost team, and they're gonna head right to Hot Springs. Got 81 people sick. That's fine. We, we're sending it. We're sending them out as soon as possible, but we should be able to do it. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rearrange ones as well. I dispatched New London. This is me being very cheap with my resources, let me just say, tell, tell that right now. I'm not sure if I'd recommend you do this for your own run, but you know, it is what it is. So infirmary, I think I might try and throw that into right beside that. It would be in a heat zone of 24 hours a day. It's a much better heat zone as well. Did I not send them out or what? I think I did. I'm gonna just make this one go first. Yeah, okay, I guess they did go, because they're, they're kind of being rearranged right now. Alright, what's your problem? Outpost 11, you still haven't dispatched a steel and, sh uh, steel and sh uh, steam cores to us. Our patients is wearing a thing. You're hereby reminding you to put uh, more effort into fulfilling your duty. Well, why don't you give me some coal? Like, uh, I need to be reminded with uh, with coal. No, my favor's too low. That's his... Th I mean, that that would, that's basically his... Uh, his... Uh, is uh, all he's doing long hours? We're not going to bother with that. That's all. That's all their punishment is. It's to basically just remind me that I'm. I need to do things. I guess. This guy is taking. A, I'm sure, is taking a long time to get back here. Oh, good. They're becoming now uh, ravenously hungry. Yeah, people are eating raw food. I only have one though, so that's all good. All right, so we got the freight elevators to get a bit more out of that. And I guess a sawmill upgrade wouldn't be the worst thing to get. And as well as, I guess I could do improved heaters. I was actually just talking about that one, wasn't I? So we got a lot of... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch this over. Alright, so we're gonna build a training depot. And out of that, that's it. We got hot springs. Our favor is now average with them, so we can actually now talk to them. So food autonomy, sir. Our people rejoice at the news of the food deal with Hot Springs. Might have to return the somewhat return the favor, but we will we'll do it. We'll do it on our own terms. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go. We can switch over to them. Actually, let's see what they want to see first. Hello, your people did a great job setting up the trading depot so quickly. We can now start helping each other. We'll st we'll send you our surplus of food, and we'll give you more if we can. If you can provide us with resources next this to expand our settlement. Be grateful if you could also assist us in improving our, our housing and healthcare. All right, so I will say one more thing. We have some problems. Can you help us? We need some food. So we really do, actually. So you can also ask for wood and steel. This is Hot Springs is obviously the food place, so you should ask for food all the time, and we, we particularly need it. So we said, we ask for a lot, but we agree. We hope you remember it when you help. And we have low favor. No, I can't do anything else with them right now. Okay. So you get a couple of options with them right now. You can trade resources for food at the moment if you want to. We should still be okay. I'm probably going to shuffle them around a little bit, though. Because as soon as this guy comes in, I'm going to... Probably uh, overwork them and kill them on purpose. It's going to be very intentional. Alright, but we got this guy up first, so... There we go. So we got a much better building for that now. We can now just disassemble a bunch of buildings here too. All right, people are furious. Uh, people are extremely discontent with your rule. Welcome break out any minute, which we do. Just hold on a couple more days. So we have two food shipments coming. 
We also have this guy that's coming in too, so I'm going to, like I said, as soon as he comes in, I'm going to intentionally uh, overwork him, so. And then we're going to lose a person, that's fine. You can just spend the scouts of the beacon or send them back out to the Frostland. Alright, so we got some options now of where to go. We can start kind of heading around now. So I think for the time being, I'm going to head over here because this is a, kind of a nice place to go to. We should be able to definitely start uh, feeding everybody. Yeah, this is the overworking one, so... Uh, we will have to make sacrifices for today. It just, this can tell will rise. Again, I'm, I don't really care. I'm just uh, trying to maximize everything here. So, actually, this guy I'm going to send over to this one here. I'm going to go to that crumbling hut first. We're just trying to get our food going here. Where's my uh, workers at right now? There's one in here, too. Okay. So, I'm going to do probably some more sawmill action right now. And we don't have enough engineers for that, but that's okay. I probably shouldn't have actually disassembled everything there. But we could we could treat gravely sick people, so it's not like it's a huge problem, so. We're we're trying to get the food as much as possible. Hungry people are fed. Most of the people had a meal and they are somewhat satiated for the time being. Uh, hope rises. There you go. I just didn't want them to eat the raw food, which is why I did that. Alright. There we go. New London. We commend you for finding another settlement and making initial contact with their representative. Their crops will provide a very timely aid to our food security. However, we remind you that all external connections and food distribution network are to be handled directly from New London. Immediately cease contact with Hot Springs and hand over the raw, raw food you re re received. We need to talk. I know. It's kind of outrageous, yeah. So, understandably, everyone's a bit pissed off. Enough is enough. No more masters. <laughs> Bloody bastards. People have had enough. Sir, people are riding. They refuse to follow orders from New London. No more masters, chants the, the mob. Enough is enough. A miner waves uh, her mattock in the air. Bloody bastard, she shouts, shouts. They treat us like dirt, abuse our kids, and now they want us to give up our only hope for survival. No way. The people have dragged the office workers from outpost administration to kick them out of the outpost where they stand. Should we intervene and let the new, uh, new uh, the clerks prepare for the journey to New London? So we could say... Um, Yes, uh, send them back as they uh, yes, ba send them back as they stand, or tell our people to back down. So this the implication here is that they're going back no matter what, right? This choice has no meaning whatsoever. Uh, it really doesn't. This is kind of like why this scenario was kind of disappointed. There's only a few choices that actually have any meaning in this, and this is not one of them. It doesn't really majorly change a lot of things. So I'll just tell people to back down. So this way they don't die. It like there's no favor or anything that we get from it. It, it, it just like it just kind of sucks, I guess. Is really what it's about. So, so New London, you treacherous scum! Your outpost is officially disbanded, and you will all be tried for treason upon your return. You have three weeks to convince us that you've changed your ways and wish to remain loyal citizens of New, New London. After you'll after that, you'll be hauled back in, in manacles, and may God have mercy on your souls. This is New London, uh, New London speaking over and out. Bollocks. <laughs> That's it. So how much time do I have to do the trust thing? Not that, not, not, not that much time. Uh, seek help on the Frostland. With communications cut, there's no way for us to walk back from the brink, even if people cool down and have second thoughts about the whole independence de declaration. We can only prepare for it to confront what we assume is a punitive expedition coming from New London. For this, uh, uh, for this, we'll need much more manpower and resources than we have, so we'll try to find more people on the Frostland. Maybe there's a, a other settlements in the hot, like Hot Springs. It's, wor it's worth asking for help. I see. What am I researching right now? I'm researching heaters. Yep. Difficult times. Harsh words just said, reckless decisions were made, but we can't turn back time. We should now focus on searching Frostlands in hope of finding other people out there. Alone, we have no choice against New London. Other than, other than that, we just have to wait for, uh, wait for their move. Alright, so we do have another path over here, and... Something else actually showed up here. Uh, I'll tell you where the outposts are. There's one over here, and there's one over here as well. It's kind of difficult to tell where they are most of the time, but I am kind of close to this, so I actually might just start heading towards this one right now. And if we... We don't need to trade for food yet. So we can ask for New London for uh, Hot Springs for help, so we could say, what does he want to talk about? Well, he said, I'm sorry to hear that you were... Uh, you were the cause of your clash with uh, uh, New London. If you help us, we might be able to help support you later in your struggle. We'd be grateful if you could help us setting a base of healthcare and building bunkhouses. We lack manpower resources to do this by ourselves, and we dread we won't survive another storm. Okay, well, I'll think about it. And that's it. So, 
it starts it starts getting to the scenario now where you're trying to like kind of help out uh people so you get like yeah so this is like pump repair basic dwellings and things by doing these things you are essentially uh helping to build up their outpost and you will gain favor with them you can ask for more food and some other fun stuff like that so i'm gonna say yeah let's do some pump repair and basic dwelling i kind of don't want to send them people quite yet but we'll see how it goes uh, we're gonna definitely need some more people around i'm gonna tell you that right now but we'll see i think we're good on uh this stuff now though uh do i need coal i guess i'll just start working on the coal but it will be it will be a problem for a later time i guess i probably should have been getting another scout team ready but i can do uh over time as well so what we're gonna do is to get my discontent back up what i'm gonna do is i'm going to quickly set it back down Discontent falls, uh, hope rises, and then we can just put it right back the way it was. I'm not sure why that one was already down like that, but that's fine. And then I'm going to over emergency shift that, and then yeah, after that it's, it's pretty much it's we're pretty much good to go. So we're just kind of like rearranging people so that like yeah, the discontent went back up. That's fine though. Again, they don't kick you out immediately. You get a lot of time to actually just do whatever you want to, which I love. So you get to just like, yeah, you get to you get to abuse it. So again, we're not doing mixed crews. I do want the second scout team, which is why I'm kind of uh, rushing it out right now. And we're probably gonna need efficient burners after that. So uh, this one, actually, I don't need this anymore. Oh, definitely don't need this anymore. Probably not gonna put anybody in there. I'm gonna put them over here when they get the chance. All right, nobody over here quite yet. So we got some more food coming in. I can definitely put some people out of this. We don't have enough workers. That's the problem, and I really need actually that. So, so I'm trying to get the scouts going. I probably should have done it before. Are we free now that New London no longer controls our affairs? Many of the people uh, um, say that they are f uh, feel free for the first time in their lives. True, we lost the guidance and support, but we gained independence. Uh, we don't have to do their bidding and 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 ask permission to cook soup. We can pass our own laws and decide what to do. There's a petition to change the name of the outpost, uh, uh, the name of our settlements. This is we're no longer an outpost. Shall we do it? Sure, let's do it. So you get to change it to whatever you get, like an achievement for calling it New London. <laughs> <laughs> like you had to do it kind of thing so we'll call this uh, city uh, the lovely city of discontent rises there you go the lovely city of discontent rises so now we can now sign our own laws now so I kind of kept it so that I didn't have to do child labor which is I don't know how it's gonna go we'll see I definitely need to do probably corpse disposal first but I also need to start doing like sustained life and stuff we'll start with cor corpse disposal just because um, apparently I cannot do that right now because it is a law of different problems actually there's a lot of problems here all right let's just do fighting arenas first because I'm just looking at this I'm like there's nothing I could do here that would uh, make anybody happy at the moment because I would have to like lower the its discontent is too high right now I'd have to lower it by uh, bad food, overtime work. Yeah, I can't really do much about that right now. I'm just gonna go and, uh, fighting arena. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Can I get that to be a little bit more... Whoops. Just trying to free up some space here. I may have to just go on the other side of it. Oh, that really sucks. All right, whatever. I'm just trying to get it to be around, but I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. One second. Uh, I don't want it to be in the heat zone. I don't really care about it being in the heat zone. Let me get the last one over here somewhere. Yeah, there's like, there's not a whole lot of space here, but that's fine. Okay, right, there we go. That should be good enough for them. Unfortunately, this is not exactly a very efficient infirmary, but it is what it is. I may have to go after that, uh, the overcrowding first, but I think people are getting sick because of the body. All right, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to actually take these guys out, put them in there. I'm not sure why I wasn't doing that earlier. People are furious. We have to hold on for a couple more days. 
I think we can actually just afford to just do regular food, actually. I could just do that. We have we have a lot of food now. I just I like to keep the soup going because it's just nice, but yeah. So one of the things we could do is so there's a couple things that uh, Hot Springs is really bad at giving you. Um, they're really bad at giving you wood and steel. They they aren't very good at that. Um, it's like you can kind of tell when you have a medium, uh, but they're just they're really good at sending you food. Is essentially what they're be the best at kind of thing. So you want to keep it to what their strengths are, because uh, you'll have other outposts that you can ask for things that they that, that they actually have other strengths uh, to them. So uh, we could do lighter sleds just to make them go faster. If I do that, that would be the last one I would do here. So I'll do lighter sleds. That's fine. All right, we are gonna have to shuffle around. Oh, well, I don't need that many, actually. All right, I'm going to basically go after that one now. I'm going to just move people around just so we're more in the heat zones now. I, I don't think there's any reason for me to go off of soup, but... Yeah, because they're, they're just eating bad food, just is how it is. So what I'll likely do is, because they're going to forget about the, the overtime work I just made them do, and then I'm going to uh, lower it so I can dispose corpses and whatever. So as soon as it gets, the, the laws go back off cooldown. Probably should have done it the other way, but eh, it is what it is. Long hours of toil. Well, they uh, did this on purpose because uh, I'm definitely not doing that. So we need, to, we need that to keep going around and around. We're probably going to uh, shuffle this army warehouse back to uh, steel after this day, so... But I can guarantee you, I'm definitely not signing anything that, uh... <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna sign anything else that I don't have to, so... Alright, I got a bit more here. Okay. And I guess I, you know, I probably should just go back to regular food. Alright, high pass. As we hoped, we found a pass leading to safety on the other side. There's also a sheltered place here where we can rest a while. Alright, explore it. Um, not only did we find this uh, pass to be convenient way over the mountains, bonfire remains and other evidence that at least some people camped here. However, they all seemed old. Uh, cr uh, something of the dead. So carry on. Nothing to do here. Let's go. I'm going to start moving things back into regular shifts. I guess I should have just said I was going to do it. Because we have to. we have one day to make them happy again, so... But it should be fine. It should be easy to do because the temperature is going to rise tomorrow. It's mostly cold homes. That is actually the primary thing that they really don't like. So, you know, I'm going to put it right back to soup, actually. I don't know why I'm so indecisive on that, but yeah. It's really what it is. All right, put these guys back on here. There you go. And there you go. Discontent falls, hope rises, and we're all good to go. We're all happy again. Still eating soup, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right, scout sleds. All right, so now we can start looking at some other better things. Like I said, I don't do steam sawmills. They're too expensive, considering we're moving around. Sawmill upgrade is not the worst thing. Neither is gathering outpost, uh, and neither is the st steam coal temper, but you can see I don't have enough people actually to work at those things anyways right now, so. Uh, we can start getting, we can do efficient burners. That's probably a more better one. I, I was actually just talking about how I probably need to do that. Is why I took a bunch of coal from New London, because I'm like, we actually kind of need that. Alright, we got someone over here. So we got survivors. The building, once heavily damaged, has been repaired to provide some protection against the weather. Smoke is building from its makeshift chimney. Call, uh, calls hope. We knock, armed people answer the door. They lower their weapons, and we assure them of our peaceful intentions. We soon find out that they are their, uh, we are their last hope. They are emancipated, hungry, and sick. Their supplies are running out. We learn that... Uh, they were the previous inhabitants of this place were killed by wild animals. We discovered as Kevin. So we can escort them, we can send them, which they're going to die or decide later. So one of the things that you can do is if you find them early, you can actually just leave them there until later. So we're going to escort them to the outpost because it is 22 workers and uh, I, I kind of need people to work on stuff right now. And I'm going to now do corpse disposal because I need that. We're going to put it all the way beside this thing because... One of the things, actually, I guess I didn't show you yet is, uh, in terms of brazers, you can't actually heat the, uh, the army warehouse. It's actually not heatable. 
So you might as well just keep it over there. You can only use the uh, the, the heater uh, essentially ability. Uh, Coolio of the Dead. As we get closer, it turns out these are not rocks, but huge rusted cages. There are frozen bodies inside as well, uh, and some lie around the cages as well. These people were killed by some time ago. Their frozen bodies have been partially scavenged by animals. They lie scattered without any semblance of order um, of order or respect. Steel. So, if we had any doubts whether the bodies were thrown here deliberately, at the sign entrance, a gully dispels them. No man shall rule over our others for all time, convicts of the Frostland. The, uh, these are bo the bodies of overseers who guarded the convicts working on the Frostland, and these cages were there to transport the convicts uh, from place to place. So we got the shipwreck camp and the frozen sea, take resources. We're going to go to the, fro the, the shipwreck camp, that would be the second one you could possibly get. Uh, hopefully we don't run out of coal. Could just rearrange people a little bit. We may actually have to overtime that, but I'll see. I'm hoping I don't. Uh, we definitely don't need a, to heat it, though. I should probably check to make sure nothing's like heated that isn't supposed to be. Well, that one's fine, but I don't have anyone working at it, so it doesn't matter. We actually uh, we have a little bit of discontent to work with now, so, but we do have the temperature drop coming in, so it means that we're gonna have to actually worry about that as well. Because once the temperature drops, uh, I would e I would need to make a, some kind of tent or something with it, so I'm probably not really wanting to do that right now. All right, they should now work on that building there. That's fine. We may have to overtime this actually if I can't get it to go. Uh, there's their 22 people. And we got some more engineers. We can also send over something here. So let's see. Can you give us some more food? Thank you very much. Don't worry. It doesn't get, it doesn't lower discontent or anything. You're perfectly fine. So, All right. So for this guy, I'm going to send him over to Ice Cavern. So that's pretty much it for him. This guy, though, Shipwreck Camp, I'm going to say, so we reached a settlement built around the shipwreck. We guessed that before the arrival of the frost, there must have been a sea here. The settlement is populous, and it, but its inhabitants meet us with distrust, distrust, even hostility. And there you go. No kings, only men. Comics were widely used on the frostland to build generators. Uh, deceived by false promises of amnesty and a return home. Most of them were worked to death, carried on prison ships from one construction site to another. Does that sound familiar? It's from the last, uh, last autumn. Some of them have rebelled, and, some, and, and we met here, uh, the ones we met here were successful. They killed their guards, took over the ship, and set up their own settlement, far away from London's power. The hull of the ship is heated by steam boilers, protected from the great storm. Hearing that we all, too, rebelled against our masters, they seem to warm up to us. That's great news. So, once again, it wants us to do the same thing where we need to set up a, a basically a construction depot trading warehouse, but I don't think I have enough wood at the moment. No, I don't. So we're not only lacking in wood, but also steel at this point, so... Oh, that, we are actually have enough steel now. We primarily need some wood right now, though. I, I'm wondering how to potentially divvy this up, though. We definitely need the this guy to go though. Try to debate. Oh yeah, we have 22 um, housing bill. I actually don't even have tents. Snow pit established. We can now dispose of corpses. It doesn't mean more people are going to be more content or dis uh, d uh, hopeful. Dumping our dead in the snow is nothing to be proud of. So I need just two houses, I think. So we don't need so many houses because we're gonna we're gonna basically move some people to the other um, location and in, in here. Let's see what we can do though. I would like to get the public house going, but we really do need sustained life, and uh, yeah, we're not bothering with radical treatment because we already have like the best kind of thing for it. So we need to actually go for overcrowding now. Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. All right, we're gonna heat that. Heater remains on here. Because I want to give them the helping hands that they want to, and I also want to make a construction team as well. 
The helping hands I should probably do first, because that will... Uh, sorry, no, the construction team I should do first, because that would be uh, more wood that I'm now lacking in at the moment, so... Unfortunately, this is likely going to be... I'm going to do the sawmill upgrade now. Now there's a frozen sea now. Frozen sea motion. This must have been a seashore, but the fr uh, f sea froze during a storm. Try to see, truly uh, sight is truly amazing. We can see a shape rising above the waves in the horizon. Sight's discovered ghost ship. So we can head over to that one. This guy doesn't really have much. He just has some steel, so there's no reason to send him back yet. All right, so we can send this guy to ice caverns. And once again, we, we will abuse the everlasting hell out of uh, what we, whatever we have here. So, all right, let's see what we got. Woman in despair. The woman is uh, sitting in a snow pit, holding her dead husband's uh, hand, crying her heart out. Perhaps you should have agreed to give people proper bears after all. Make an exception, which is Diskind will rise, or I did what I have to do. Hope will small fall. I don't have, you don't have any hope issues this scenario, so there's no point in ever doing that kind of stuff, so. But what I will do is, for the next day, I will move some people around. Alright. Who is sick right now? Let's go see. Uh, that's an engineer. I just can't do him. These two... Uh, I guess the children are sick now. Oh wait, no, there's two more. Two more workers, and there's... Just, I think, how many do I need to send out? Ten. Uh, we'll send out, let's see. I have like four more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, then I may have miscounted. I did miscount. Send out the outpost team, and we're going to go to the shipwreck camp because we need wood as well. Wood is a major recurring problem. <laughs> so, it doesn't grow on trees, unfortunately. Well, actually, it does. That's exactly what it does. Never mind. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to be punny. All right, we got a we got a food ration. <laughs> what does grow on cheese? Who would have thought? Uh, it's it is a trap shipped up forever under the frozen sea. The broken ice around it uh, waves uh, rise in dr dramatic waves. A cargo of shame. The, the ship carried hundreds of convicts whose bodies are locked in cells, but the crew did not abandon them. We found the remains in their quarters. There's still plenty of food. We could we could take it, although we can't be sure of what was the cause of death of the crew of uh, convicts. Just take the resources. It's there to make you second guess it. Like it's, but it's like it's a really bad like second guessing. It doesn't matter. For some reason, this this guy still counts as being in my in my city. I don't know why, but they just do. And the last one I want to do is, uh, is helping hands over there, so let's see. One, two. Alright. So, we can do organ transplants, but I would like to go down to overcrowding. Although, I don't really need overcrowding right now. We kind of dealt with our sick pretty well, so... We probably will just do some discontenting buildings or whatever, so public house. To get to that lovely, lovely soup law. That we all love. I'm debating where to send this guy. So this one is one that you don't need to put in the heat zone. So, I mean, I'll give you some proness of uh, what you can do for that. I'll just give me a minute here. I'll, I guess I can just put it here. I'm just thinking about when I raise the uh, the distance of sun and stuff. I'll put it over here. That's where that's I'll put it. Alright, we get some wooden food rations, so the ice caverns. The caverns may be a shelter of wild animals, but it's possible that some people hid here. Anyways, they might have some, we may have some weapons with us. So, wooden food rations. The last research. In the caves, we came upon uh, we came upon frozen human corpses torn apart by wild animals. By the bodies, we found boxes and document in, uh, documentation containing some re results of some research that, that we cannot comprehend. There is no trace of animals, and there's nothing of interest for us here. So we're going to go to the station room. So we got some food out of that, which is nice. Keep heading up. I'm not sure why they're, like, it just says that they're here, but it's because they're on expedition. Because they also count as not as being homeless. When they're not homeless, they're, they're out. So, I don't know. Like I said, we don't need the overcrowding yet. We'll eventually get it, though. Ah, uh, there we go. We got our lovely thing. So the public house, you can just keep outside of a of a heat zone, because you might as well. Because you could just... If you turn on heaters, it's only when the when people are inside. People are not inside, and it only functions for, like, 
like what four and a half hours so it's the least out of any other building so that's why that one's like a really good one to just you just leave it as is you know uh so for the next one insulation no i probably need i need to get the bunk houses out of the way so i'm probably just gonna do that next and we're pretty good on food we can ask for more food though might as well right now our, now our favor is low with them so but the uh you notice that the people are now gone that that were actually originally in there so they went back to new london which is why it's just you just leave it the way it is it's fine again i'm not sure why the they're not they don't have homes yet just just have a home i'm gonna rearrange this slightly uh actually i may not because i need 30 wood to do this other one i'm gonna make sure i have it though All right, so longer our, our hours of toil, we will not, we will never address that. We don't care. Oh, and there's a little bit of lack of people in these ones. What are they missing now? Going to go build. How about you don't build that? This is why I hate like rearranging people because it's just like yeah. All right, station ruins. The tall building of the uh, of the meteorological station erected by winter home engineers did not survive uh, the great storm. So we got wood and steel. The thick snow covers the broken walls and collapsed roof. Only masses of old scientific equipment rise above them. What raw materials we could find here are not worth the effort of wrenching them from under the ice. So there's a winter home, winter home ruins and steel bridge. So we can take the resources. So that steel bridge still exists uh, in basically all three scenarios, which is great. Uh, we'll go to the winter home ruins first, though. So there is a couple of new tracks in this one, at least. They did they did add a few, which is nice. All right, and there we go. Shipwreck camp, let's go build it. And we got ourselves some communications with them. So there we go. Uh, thanks to Train Depot, we can help each other survive. Okay, so one more thing, we have problems. So we can either ask for workers, they are more than capable of asking, ask, uh, giving you workers, but we can also ask for wood too. So that, that's the two things they're kind of good at. Uh, you can't get workers from, uh, Really, you can't get them from the food place, the hot springs, but you really want food from there, to be honest. So it's one of those things. So they have things here like raise food availability, uh, improve acquisition resources. And by the way, whenever you give them one of these, they will it says give them 50 food, 50 food. So I can do these and they'll just give me a bunch of food, which is really nice. I, I It's really easy for me to do it. What I feel like I still have on Steam cores is because I do. I have seven Steam cores and that's entirely too many. All right. So from that, we can do organ transplants or moonshine. Moonshine is probably the key because that's going to lower discontent a little bit. I'm going to put people into here. Public house built. Hope it rises. There we go. That's going to be that's going to be a really nice one. All right. So for this, I want to go into more heaters. So there's really nothing else here that's really worthwhile. So we're going to do I was going to do this, but I don't think I can. Not like it's 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 on the way anyway, so it's fine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let them not do anything. You can see how this this guy's already running out of like wood. It's like this 94. Actually, we should actually look to see because we can answer that question I had before, which is, oh, I guess there is a bunch of uh, wood here that you can get. So you got a you got a little bit extra here that you can do. It's free wood basically, not exactly free, but yeah. All right, so we get a couple more. We are gonna want some people as well, but I, I'm just trying to get as much like wood as possible because we were kind of lacking it before. So we get some, we get some steel and some food rations out of that. We're gonna send him over to Nansen Stormwatch. You remember that one? That was also in the original one. So the the ruins of a city brought down by inept rule of a selfish and incompetent leader. <laughs> and finally destroyed by the explosion of a badly operated, irreparably damaged generator. We didn't think we would ever return here. Wood, steel, and raw food. There you go. Monument of Ignorance. The people who, uh, those who managed to flee long ago have, and we have no idea what happened to them, apart from some of the evacuated children who found shelter in New London. Uh, Winter Home was, has become a monument to the human ignorance and hubris. Its destruction is being uh, completed by nature. The great storm covered the ruins with snow and ice, and only the regular pattern of mounds and depressions remind us that this white shroud covers a work of human hands. We found children's mind and destroyed automaton. So, 
I like the fact that you kind of return here after the storm. It's kind of like, it's a nice like sequel actually. I think it is actually like nice in that way. Uh, it's got some other flaws in the scenario, I'll say, but yeah, we'll go grab this minuscule amount of resources and we will head immediately to the children's mine. All right, and as soon as we have literally anybody come in, we can probably just have one person deal with us then. Let's see, is there anything else I could do right now? So yeah, New London will not talk to us anymore. Uh, so they're they're officially done with us. What I'm gonna do is as soon as we get the first. Oh, that's not that much. What is it? Oh right, it's yeah. We have a couple more coming in. So we're gonna go to Nansen Stormwatch. All right. So with that first one, we're gonna go right into mechanical calculators because I want to get uh, improved blowers for those tents. All right, we can start now sending over, probably at the end of the day, I'll send over the anything I need actual people for. So we'll get the most out of the people for today. Uh, coal mine should definitely have some more people, uh, some some heaters. I will probably not turn off the heater for that any, any longer, though. Yeah, this one doesn't need one, though. So infirmary is still good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cold, and there will be another temperature drop in, like, two days. So that's primarily the reason I want to do it, so... Alright, children's mine. The mine was far from depleted when we last sent people into it. Smoke is coming from the stacks. Apparently people are living there. Children of the mine, we go inside. It turns out that mining corridors reaching deep under the permafrost give shelter to do dozens of children accompanied by a handful of old and frail people. The mining machines broke long ago. Now the coal is being extracted by kids whose small stature allows them to traverse the tunnels easily. The children are proud that they managed to uh, manage on their own and reject our suggestion to move. We can help them by improving the living conditions in, in return for gold. We will support them. All right, so um, children's mine is the worst one. Uh, not just because some joke about children, but like it's it's actually uh, coal is something you can make on your own easily. It's thumpers or the coal mine. You don't have a problem making those, I assure you. It's actually not a huge concern uh, for coal. This this scenario, ironically, uh, even though I was kind of like a little bit on the on the tight side there, but they're good for bringing workers or steel. That's it. That's what they're good for. Ironically, what what is good from the what the the shipwreck camp because they're you know lumberjacks and convicts, um, and that and you can still get workers from them too because they have a lot of people. You don't have a lot of people from. Uh, What's it called? The hot springs, but you can get food, and you could get other resources if you really need it. Uh, but I primarily get food from them. It's it's just a good way of kind of uh, working about it. So, so they they won't give us anything else. We have to essentially give them more stuff now. You could also trade resources directly for it, but I just typically just go right for the things that they actually want. So, what's the last thing that uh, they want? They want healthcare. Okay, so I'll, I'll send those out uh, when we're done here. And we're also going to probably get rid of this guy, too, so he's going to be done. All right, survivors at Nansen Stormwatch. It survived the storm and rises proudly above the snow. It was here uh, and that we saw the last traces of the fearless polar explorer. Its walls are free from ice, so it must be inside. Survivors. Few lucky men. Inside, you find a group of people huddled by a big stove. They say they were rescued by Nansen from a whaling ship trapped in the ice right before the great storm. The great explorer brought them here and then ventured further north to study the changes brought by the uh, to the world by the great storm. They survived thanks to a store of fuel and rations found nearby, which is now running out. Windy Beach. So we will we will escort them back for, uh, with us. So. So there's some more people. That's so why I said like it, these are these are both available early on, but it, but if you go to them, it's kind of a problem because you know you don't have the food early on. But now we do. We're good on food now. All right. So as soon as this all runs out, there we go. So I'm going to send out healthcare for the lovely people here, and I'm going to also send out helping hands for them. So that will give us a bit more food, because they're going to be 30 food, and these guys will give me some wood for that. This one is entirely done, and I can go sh shuffle this up a little bit here, too. What I can actually just do is I can just move... I can build the road first, and then build the, uh, the sawmill right, beh right beside it. There you go. 
It's why I don't bother doing any upgrades for it. So we can do heater efficiency, improve blowers is I think what we want. And just try and look here. We got army insulation warehouse. I, did I move it to steel yet? I hope I did. But the insulation is pretty good too. Oh, let me see. Yeah, we need steel right now. So we're actually at the point where we're pretty comfortable here. So let's see. Let's do improve blowers first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that one go 24 hour shifts. And I probably should have been doing this earlier, but I probably I should overshift this. I should do shifts on this too. Why wasn't the heater on for that? I just realized that the heater wasn't on for this, but yeah. All right, refusal to work. Uh, I'm gonna let him get back to work. So just then we'll rise. Who cares? Not even that much. So we don't have enough people here for them to start like you know, like basically being all choosy. Like I don't want to work. We we kind of need them to do uh, to do their work. So you know that's how it is. All right. We got randomly one engineer that's just kind of like an oddball, I guess. But we'll do that. But I'm trying to get that the heaters going, and then, yeah, we can fully man some of the stuff too, which is nice, so. And I already have, like, a heat zone over there as well, so we're all good. All right, he's back, and we're going to send him over to Windy Beach now. What's this guy doing? So, automat the destroyed automaton. A worn, crushed, rusty automaton. Looks like it spent a long time under ice. Perhaps a great storm uncovered it, which is why we were able to find it. Steel. We explored the rusting hulk, hulk of an automaton. It, it was a general purpose machine, probably used by a winter home in the field to help with construction. It must have been abandoned after suffering irreparable damage. The steam core has been removed, but we can still get some steel from it. So we got some drying springs and, gra and grove of bones. We'll go, we'll go grab those. What does that guy exactly have? So he's got a fair bit of resources right now, so I like I like his style. So I'm gonna put a lot of people into various buildings. There we go. Just shuffled some people around and we're all good now. So that's the hungry people that we just brought in. Again, we can just keep asking for food, which is why we don't have to bother. We have the favor for that, right? Um, as for the lovely, uh, this guy, we can ask for workers too, which is actually not a bad thing. It says it'll fall slightly, but you see, like, it's not completely spent, so I'll, I'll start asking for some workers. The nerve, you owe us, you know, he'll be, he'll be fine. I'm, I'm kind of, it's, it's just, like, typical stuff. So we got overcrowding and also organ transplants. How's our hospitals doing? Okay, we definitely could use overcrowding now. But again, that makes its return. So we got hot springs. Our people want to build a medical outpost in our settlement. It's not necessary. Uh, it's not necessary in our opinion. We have ways of healing. The aura of springs is a cure in itself. We don't trust engineers and their mechanical way of thinking. And we'd rather not have them around. You can help us in many other ways. So these are kind of the split choices. There's only, I think, two that truly matter in this that actually have consequences. Uh, if you tell them that you will not build their, uh, do this thing, they will send people back to you that are uh, gravely ill. Uh, this one is not the big decision. I would just say as you wish, because I have the ability to do heal gravely heal, uh, uh, gravely ill very easily. So I'm going to say as you wish. So I will let them do whatever they want to in that regard. Shake your leg. Our shift is on. Uh, I'm not sure if I could put a guy over here. I think I was having this issue last time and I basically opted not to do anything about it. I'm just seeing if I can actually... No, I can't have a guy there. That's fine. Did I finish the... No, I didn't finish blowers yet. Just seeing how much I can put here. Yeah, so we're pretty much tapped out on these three over here as soon as I put these last two up, but that's fine. That will be okay. I actually have now people that can, can work on this. People are furious. Uh, they're discontented once again. It's a familiar story that we have, uh, but we're trying to... It's just because I used a bunch of overtime shifts and things are cold and things like that, so. Now, shipwreck camp. We know you have your own problems, but we have no one else to turn to. A disease is spreading amongst our people. Some of them will die if they don't get medical help that we can't provide. They would risk uh, they would risk traveling to your settlement if you agree to cure them. In exchange for your help, they're willing to uh, stay and work for you. They're great workers and more than willing to pull their weight. So we can say quarantine the sick, which that again, okay, so I didn't actually really outline this, but I guess I should. Um, some of these decisions like this when they pop up it will displease the shipwreck camp uh, which is a loyalty thing which happens it's more of a factor at the end uh, sometimes what will happen is it'll unlock some 
some improvements at the location uh, uh, that you have to basically build is sometimes a downside. Uh, so, but we'll say we'll cure them, which is, you know, this is a benefit for me anyways, no matter what, because I like to, I like to deal with this anyway. So, so I'll say we will cure them. I'm okay with that. But yeah, so that's the other factor here. It's relations neutral, relations neutral. You're trying to kind of bring that up. Uh, relations home city is what, what you kind of get for the time being, so. So they're gonna send them back to me, and that's that's perfectly fine for me. The really the really amusing thing to do is um, you can you can send them over when they're gravely ill, and then you can since they're free workers, you can just send them right back. <laughs> I, I I'm not kidding when I said you can really abuse the hell out of that. Uh, they really never did like a fix for that or anything. It's really great. So because it's one of the things that you actually have. So there's army installation where um, army installation. That's probably a good one to do. And there's also house, but house we want the resource upgrade for that too. So we got this one, so we can put the heating level up. So this effectively puts it to about four, which is livable. So now they're happy again. And the thing that they're mad about right now is just bad food or crowded work facilities, and that's it. All right, managed to place eight people. That's fine. How's our coal doing? Pretty good still. But now we have to make sure that these are essentially working all the time. We can't do it any other way anymore. Placator people, not placate. Uh, did I say placate? I think I said placate. All right, a hidden graveyard. Sir, so people made a disturbing discovery. While preparing for a place for the gathering post, they followed a path uh, trodden with snow, which led them deeper into the frozen forest. They found a clearing about with about 20 graves. One of them lies a captain's hat. The people think are, are uh, that the captain's crew is buried there, presumably by the locals. I mean, obviously, like, that they, they rose up, didn't they? <laughs> so... We, we will just not talk about this one. This is not one that is really a big deal, I think. And let's see what's over here. Grave of bones. There's some wood over here. So uh, a grove in which we discovered human bones underneath some trees, wood. This must be the amputees we left in, in winter home. <laughs> Anyways, the uh, numerous uh, human bones laid scattered across the frozen trees. Uh, most of them have tooth marks left probably by starving wild animals, which must must have unearthed them just really searching for food we'll bury them before leaving that's all we could do with the, for these long gone strangers take resources we got some wood out of it so i'm gonna head back over to the, the i think is it was it drying springs all right we're gonna go to windy beach and then i'm about to be really sad so you remember uh, how i love rng in this game like i i, I know i've talked about it many times and like man i love when scouts can randomly die to things especially on survivor difficulty well, we're going to get a couple more of that. Let me just say that right now. So these are... We get five people, and then we get another couple as well that are coming, so... Alright, and go to Drying Springs. I know, normally you just can't shut me up about how much I love it, but you know. Alright, let's see. Our favor is... Yeah, we can't get anything else with them. So, when you ask for things from the people they don't care they're they're actually perfectly fine with you asking for things or they're okay with it so you don't have to worry too much about that where is uh i guess we may have to deal with the sick but we'll see all right there's your sick here's what we're gonna do let's go find some workers that i've allocated somewhere let's see Get this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this, oh, this guy, this guy, this guy, dismiss them all. What, one, two, three, four, five back in. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, oh, you want some helping hands? Send them right back over. Oh, you're going to treatment? All right, well, we'll get another one of these outpost teams. I need, how many more workers do I need? I need two more workers somewhere. Going to treatment. Oh, good for you. You're going to treatment. Oh, you're going to treatment too. Okay. So again, we'll send these guys over to this place. This children's mine. Yeah, that's it. That's this. Uh, this is. The, it's just the best way of dealing with the these uh, the problems with the workers and things like that. You just like send them around. 
Windy Beach. It turns out there's no city in, in the in the hole. Part of the ice and snow was cover um, covered a beach that was carried away by winds of extreme force, which exposed bare rock laying uh, uh, laying underneath it. This is a uh, this is just a depression reaching all the way to bare rock created by violent winds. One of the, one of the more striking uh, testaments to the power of nature's forces unleashed in the passage of great storms. So you get Tesla City and scattered dreadnought. Is it the dreadnought or Tesla City that has this stuff? I think it's the dreadnought. It's got it's got it's got the goods in there. Let's just go with that. Like, I don't really need to give people any more tents or anything. I think it's fine. No, because I, I don't really have enough space for another one around here. It's a sad state of affairs, but yeah. We want some range upgrades before we do anything like that, but yeah. It's uh they're gonna be gravely sick right now, but that's fine, because it's these are all the people actually that I've uh, essentially sent out, so we're we're pretty much fine for that. Rest assured, we will be okay. All right, dr the drying springs. Must be freshwater springs where we found a group of survivors before the great storm. An unfrozen part of the pond has shrunk as considerably. All right. The, the springs are barely flowing. It seems that the great storm has somewhat, uh, somehow disrupted the water circulation, which supplied heat from the depths, which without it, the sources started to freeze. The plants which were protected by the sources must have died during the storm or soon after. Then the animals which used to feed on them uh, left or starved. That's it. Nothing to do here. Uh, so we do have a fair bit of resources in this guy. I, I could also just do the steel bridge stuff events. It depends how much I really need all that, like, just random, like, very minuscule amount of food and stuff. I'm just gonna probably not bother with it. We'll just keep it the way it is. Alright, so we got ourselves the army installation. That's gonna be good for us. We can start doing wooden supports now. Uh, so that's a really fit, fast one to do, and I usually try and combine that with 24-hour stuff. Uh, radio extensions would would double the range of anything. We don't really need that right now. Neither do we need heater efficiency upgrades. Uh, in, employing fewer people, again, not a huge one. For the amount of wood and steel it's requires, it's, it's very big. Insulation, I don't really bother with either because I have it just one in a heat zone is what I kind of do, typically. Because uh, you got to kind of pick and choose. And house I usually combine with house redesign. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do wooden supports because now we actually have a stable source of wood that I can actually just depend upon. Uh, we'll go get uh, pump renovation going as well as we'll ask for some food. I, I know we have a lot of food, but I want to make sure that it continues to be fine. Uh, with this one, we don't really need workers anymore, but we probably could do it. I'm just thinking here. Either wood or workers. Oscar workers, just because we're a little bit lacking. And you can see that we're, like, just don't have any sick anymore. So it, it kind of solved itself by sending out the sick people. I, I don't know exactly how that ex that works, but it just does. I don't know. Um, wood and steel. And this would be, oh, we found our metal in a thick layer of ice. It looks like some terrible shatter, um, force shattered a large metal structure here. Explorer. All uh, right, so we do have to go to the other one. Uh, between the scattered elements of the ship structure, we find an engraved nameplate of USS Prometheus. So this is all the remains of one of the dreadnoughts used to found Tesla City. The great storm buried it underneath such a thick, th thick layer of ice that there, we have no no hope of uncovering it. Perhaps a uh, spring thaw will allow us to get to it someday. All right, I'm going to actually send these guys back. Uh, we have lots of time to worry to do all that stuff. It's just uh, I, I don't want him to lose what he has on him. Medical report. Medical, uh, our medical staff reports from the shipwreck camp. These people are hardened and skilled workers. Their bodies carry numerous scars and from injuries suffered while working in such dangerous and sometimes toxic conditions. Uh, nevertheless, they all seem to be surprisingly healthy. Although many of them currently suffer from various maladies caused by malnutrition and bad living conditions. I see. Literally me in the la in last autumn. That's, that's all I did. So, literally me, I'm just saying. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's 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 kind of cool how they kind of like group it all back together. I, I kind of like that element of this. It's it's really kind of nice. All right, we got station ruins. Let's go to Steel Bridge. I'm hoping that this finishes up. Actually, I don't need this guy anymore. All right, we got something that we signed. Organ transplants would be pretty good, as well as. Uh, House of Pleasure, that's also good. And I also did say I want to do the child stuff, but I'll do it not for research. 
Because I always run out of research in this scenario. Chaos is also pretty good because it's a place that, like, when you're when you're because uh, I did sustain life. If the medical outposts are overflowing, they just go into care houses, which is really cool uh, that you can do. So, but I'm gonna just do organ transplants. Uh, just to it's just a 20% buff. That's really fast for us to do. And next on the list is so I don't actually need any more coal because we're just about to get to uh, the whatever the coal people do. Um, so. They're they're gonna basically handle everything for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do probably difference engine. I'm going to over time that one as well as probably over time this one as well. We don't have enough wood for that. Are they bring in wood at least? No, they're not. I guess I need to bring in some wood. Uh I guess I could trade trade for wood because that's just coal and food. That's e that's an easy one to give actually for that. So that's one of the the less desirable ones to kind of give up, but that's it is what it is. So all right, children's mind. Thank you for establishing the trading outpost. We can now are able to help each other. All right, one more thing. There are problems. So again, um, don't ever ask for coal. Coal is the most worthless thing to ask for in the scenario. Uh, I just ask for steel typically is what I do because wood is the second worst thing because we have a place that is really good at sending us wood and they give us it all the time. So I just ask for steel because it's like you're essentially asking for money is what you're doing when you do that. But that, And that's fine with, by me, so... Hot springs. This is urgent. We need your immediate assistant. A, a, guy, a geyser have, uh, has erupted, causing damage to the crops and many injuries among uh, ours and your people. The burn victims need advanced treatment to survive, and we don't have a, the proper technology. And if we if we ask ourselves, we should have. Um, and we ask ourselves if we should have. Uh, we never sh uh, we never needed before your arrival. We need to send victims uh, to you for treatment, although it's dangerous due to the severity of the burns and distance. We wait your answer. So we can say, we'll build an infirmary on site, which we'll have to like send all this stuff, they'll be displeased. Or we can just say, bring them over, which is, I'm, I'm fine with, that's free, that's free workers and they'll be happy. Uh, this has some implications here, but yeah, we can't actually tell them to go here, can we? Yeah, okay, you can't tell them to go here. Uh, let's just go with, they, they don't all survive when they're coming back so it is what it is but we're gonna start doing a lot more food stuff so these guys want like food ration shipment shrek and send that this is where like i don't need as much coal anymore because of the fact i i can prioritize more upon like the sawmill and the uh whatever the army warehouse as well so oh I, it wasn't actually fully staffed i just realized oh well not a big deal though i think i took them off when i was trying to uh, decide on people to move into the outpost. So, so let's try and put sick people into there. So we have three people without housing. Interesting. Oh, because I guess I just added some to it, but I can I can get them out of here. It's fine. Because I think the they yeah they ask for it for basic healthcare, and if I remember, I have a lot of engineers here, so I could just take them out. It's all good. All right, one more. So here's a big one. This is a steel bridge. So, how much for the bridge? Workers are busy cutting off pieces of the bridge structure. When we try talking to them, they rebuff us angrily and tell us to leave or else. So, we can leave and let them work. We can stop them. By the way, these... It does not matter what they do. It Nothing changes with this. This is why a lot of people think that this scenario is actually incomplete. Uh, you will lose your scouts, potentially, and you don't get anything for it, which is really stupid. Um... Yeah, it doesn't matter. And then you can chase them away. You don't gain any extra resources. It may have been like a bug or something. Uh, you'll get 44 steel. Ooh, boy, guys. Don't spend all that steel in one place. Just, just, just let them work. Don't bother with it. I just, we just let them work. I'm going to go to Sturdy Shelter. This is uh, one of the things that probably made people a little bit disappointed in this scenario. It's just things like that. It just... It's a... It's a event in their... In the event chain that just doesn't do anything, so... Kind of annoying, but, you know, what are you going to do? Also, also, this one could be going to a little bit better. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overtime this, and I'm also going to use wooden support. So they're going to make 9.5 steel, so we're going to get the most amount of steel that we can out of it. Got some wood and other st things from it. That's why at this point I started doing that, and what I'm going to do is I'm also going to make sure we're getting the most out of that, which I probably should have done earlier, but I did not. There you go. 
Make sure it's completely inhabited. We don't really need so much in the coal pile. Coal piles are kind of worthless, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's go back up to Tesla City. This guy has nothing on him, which is great. That's interesting. I guess the Crick House now needs uh, someone to basically, yeah, need people in it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> So it, it, it's not it's uh, the cook house is too cold now to basically function without so, without being heated so all right so the next thing i'm gonna do is let's see so they should be friendly so we can say help to access the coal hold that will be uh we will open a coal hold sending us wood instead of burning it to heat, heat our homes which is good and last one i want is i want to improve their heating situation so there you go. We heard that the burn victims arrived to your settlement after a long and exhausting journey. We are horrified to learn that almost half of them died along the way, and the rest are in critical state. Please help them immediately or they will die too. Establishing a safe and fast connection to our settlements will prevent such tragedies in the future. Our people may distrust technology, but we can see its uses. We can offer you steady food shipments every two days if you build a safe route to us. This will benefit everybody, so we can now build a thing. Five people died, but that was their people. I couldn't do anything. I think if I make the the medical stuff over there that would probably do it but you know it is it is what it is but yeah it's fine it's uh, that's why i looked to see if i could actually send the scout there kind of thing but they haven't actually moved the bodies there at all yet so different sound researched so now let's go down the houses route because uh yeah we have some some basically temperature going up and down and making houses next would actually probably be pretty good because then we wouldn't have to worry about that anymore so uh, improve the heating would be good. So let's do that. They'll give us some some wood in return. I will go ask for more wood on top of that. As a part of that. And so we can get also either some food. I will still get food, I think. Uh, although, you know, I wouldn't be bad to ask for steel because, again, that is the resource. It's kind of just funny because it's like some of the things are like you get some, some upgrades to these, to these uh, structures and you're just like like, like you're basically asking for a steal and you're just sending it back, like, here's your steal back, you know? It's like, what? I don't know, I always found that amusing about this scenario, so that you could just kind of go, like, shuffle it back and forth, but, you know, it is what it is. There's five people freezing. Where are they at? This guy doesn't have a workplace. Oh, it's because they don't have a... Uh, they don't have a place to go. One second. I'm gonna make a uh, thing because we actually have to make these uh these uh lovely uh mountain passes so we're ma now making a safe route so every single one of them requires uh basically 50 wood 75 steel when you finish it and i would finish these asap and when you finish it it's really great because after that you get basically free food shipments you don't have to ask for it anymore which is the great thing about it i think though it's for whatever reason it says freezing but i think it's they're not freezing i think it's just lying to me yeah, they're going away now. It's because they don't have a home, I think. Difficult relations. Admittedly, um, sir, the people at the shipwreck can't complain about the locals are making them uneasy. Admittedly, these ex cons are great workers, but they're rowdy, uncouth, and quick to demonstrate their physical strength. I love to, uh, and, but and love to show off their technical skills, which our engineers find particularly unsettling. So let's see. We can send five worker, five uh, engineers over there. Let's see. Let's see. Three, four, five. So let's see. While the safe route is being established, we need to re re reduce the risk of the next eruption. Your engineers want to flood the caves to stabilize the flow. This should uh, st uh, this sh uh, shall stop eruptions and might give us bigger crops, but will destroy the cave moss that we've been using as a mild sedative. We would prefer to drill a borehole to lower the pressure. Eruptions will still happen from time to time, but that such is the nature of this place. So this is one of the one of the bigger decisions right here. So if you drill the borehole, um, accidents will still happen and people will get really wounded. Then they'll go like, and they get to say "told you so" and things like that. If you flood, if you flood the caves. Um, they will not like it, but the food shipments will rise. And I would just pick this one, actually. This is actually one of the only ones I would do that would actually kind of annoy them. So our, our relations are neutral with them now, but we should be able to get it back up anyways. Like, mine are friendly with this guy right now, for example, so. Uh, for that, I'm gonna go get coal and food to him, which is nice. Sturdy shelter. Uh, so, sh uh, sh shelter designed to withstand the worst Arctic weather has apparently fa failed to survive the great storm. 
Sad ending. Searching the area, we stumble across, um, upon a door handle sticking out from under the snow. We soon dig out the door and see the plaque attached to it. All si to all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This is all that's left of the shelter. Deep fracture. So that's it. So let's go check out the deep fracture. We can, I believe we can go to New London, can't we? Oh, I guess we can. I'm not sure why would we, why would we do that, but I might actually send a scout there just as mean. I don't think I've actually ever tried to do that. We're just trolling. That's all we're doing. I'm going to try and get more people to do more of that because we actually don't need, if you've kind of noticed, we actually don't need a whole lot of uh, coal because uh, children's mind is just going to continuously send it to us. Again, why do we have an amputee? Oh, right, that was, um, they were for something else, right? Yeah, I, I think they were the, one of the people that were really sick. Because we, we heal amputees, we don't do amputations, but I guess, uh, I guess they came from something else. Uh, we need to wait for that steel. Again, I know there's freezing, I'm kind of annoyed because I kind of want to have, uh... Want it to be in the heat zone, I may have to research the heat zone faster than that. Or, like, move this out of it, which would be really annoying to do, too. For some reason, I just remember having enough radius for it. I'm kind of annoyed by it, because I'm like, uh, I don't want to make another heat zone. Because you shouldn't need one. See, I, I can't get it to go there. It's so annoying. You know what I might do? Okay, I have an idea. Um... Is it a great idea? Probably not, but let's try this out. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It does fit there with it. It's so annoying. Oh, what? It all fits. Look at that. <laughs> it's my least favorite part about, like, what when this stuff, kind of stuff happens. Alright. Uh, we gotta send this guy up to Tesla City. And we're gonna build a safe pass. Lost scouts, we found a camp with the bodies of uh, uh, members of, of the scout team. One of our people recognized his friends who disappeared during the great storm. Apparently after losing contact with New London, they built a camp to wait out the worst weather. We'd like to bury them properly, but we'll need some wood and, we'll, and kindly ask for your approval. Um, I would just build the camp, it doesn't matter. It's, um, it, you'll get a bit of discontent for it, but that's fine. It's actually probably one of the only areas where you can actually get discontent from a, from a scenario area kind of thing. Alright, now we're all good. Again, I don't know who the amputee is. I guess he came from one of the other places, I don't know, it's really annoying. But yeah, that it worked out now, I'm just like... I'm, I'm irritated I needed to do that, actually, to be honest. Alright, so let's see. We got no favor, these guys we have favor. We can get some stuff out of- Oh, give me some more steel, thank you, my, my friends. Alright, let's see. So we can't get any more out of it right now. All right, what are they all about? Managed to gain access to the, the coal hood. In the process, your people found the registry containing our sentences. Most of the people were convicted for minor offenses under the new harsh laws intended to raise cheap labor. But it turns out there are also arsonists and murderers among us. The registry contains no names, just prisoner numbers. Uh, we think it's fortunate. We we can give everyone a new life in this new world, but we ask you to, um, to destroy the registry. So if you say forgive and forget, at some point... Uh, they're gonna have uh, some people that are going to commit murder and do some bad things like arson arsonists and stuff, and some people are gonna die. Um, you could also say just uh, don't. We must find them, which I would actually do in this case, because yeah. Say we have to find them because uh, they're kind of they're kind of jerks. So let's do safe route depot upgrade. That sounds pretty good. We're going to have to still move some things around here. Ooh, we got a lot of sick people, actually. But we should still be okay. Deep fracture. Let's have a look. Difficult obstacle. We've established that the crevice extends be beyond the ice sheet, deep into the rock. It could be a result of tectonic movement, but the rock uh, might have cracked underneath the weight of ice. It's so deep that piece of ice thrown into it van vanished without any echo. It's quite wide, and it would not be easy to cross it. So, carry on. I think the snow rover is like the last one on this side. I'm trying to get the steel out, but I actually just have a lack of steel. It's more what the problem is right now. Which is why, like, this is really what the generator is now. It's th this steel uh, right here is what we're going to do. I also made way too many steam cores. I would say I may have forgotten that was on, so. Alright, for this last one, what we're going to do, probably, 
probably start doing child shelters. Uh, I'll do House of Pleasure first, though. Just to help with the discontent a little bit. There you go. Guess there's really nothing for us to do here. We'll just uh, kind of have them go do their thing. All right, Tesla City. Yes, Tesla C uh, City once stood here. The testament to technology, human pride, and the power of nature written in silence and stillness. Wood, steel, and food rations. So, it's a city founded upon a genius inventor once protected by some kind of electric dome fell into complete ruin. The most valuable resources were taken out before the great storm now only packs hungry rats that roam the streets. It may be worth searching this place again, but we have to watch out, uh, not just watch out for rats, but anything really, uh, anything really. The place looks dangerous. So we can search the place for resources. This is a lot of good resources. It's like a pretty good thing for to get, get, get for or, or do it. So I'm playing on Survivor. I can't load it if it fucks up, so we'll see. Yeah, and they died, so that's it. So that's it, game's over. No, that's it. And we lost contact, we get nothing out of it, and we have to spend another like bunch of wood to basically get them to leave again oh well doesn't matter what i'm gonna do is i'm going to can i i guess i can't select these house is research we can go get another one house redesign there we go i'm going to one two three four five dismiss and get them to go in here well that's it they're dead that's how it goes we don't get we don't get a second chance that's it we lose it we lose a bunch of wood too so Kind of lame, and that's why I really hate RNG stuff. It's just kind of crappy, so. Uh, homes repair, maybe. I kind of want to finish what I was doing. Uh, we're also kind of running out of food here, too. So, let's see if we can get the, the safe, house, uh, safe route finished. Because it's just waiting there right now. Shipwreck camp. Now that the first improvements are complete, let's build something that would benefit both our sentiments. Establishing a st safe route between us would make trading faster and more secure by preventing shipments from getting bogged down by snow. If we build it, we'll start sending uh, wood to you every other day. That would benefit everybody. So I'm just waiting for 75. There we go. All right. Build that one. Safe route. We replace report. Everything went as planned. It will serve as a great vantage point. A visual guide for everything between our settlements. Um... And it's all secured. Okay. And then we got one more from here, and that's it. I just... I want to get both of those going before I start building houses and things like that, so... Which we're going to need. Uh, the heating and health healthcare in our se settlement uh, have improved, but your medics say malnutrition is still calling, uh, causing many to fall ill. We don't have much, but we managed to survive on our own. Yet, it's perhaps time to ask for help. We don't do this lightly, but... We we don't want to we don't want to use you. Are you in contact with the settlement producing food? If so, can we talk to them? So you're supposed to think at this point is oh no you don't depend upon me. How am I supposed to get stuff now, right? Uh, so this would be you'll we'll send you food which they won't be happy about or we'll put you in touch. Uh, just say you'll put them in touch. It literally does nothing. Like it's it's most of the stuff in the scenario is just like it's uh, yeah. It just lets you kind of do whatever you want. So let's see. So we got a bunch of steel. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the supports for the next day. Alright, so Snow Rubber has a bit of steel. Oh, I guess it's not quite the last one. The frozen corpse of the driver is still inside. Such rubbers were used to scout ahead of expeditions, but never alone. It's too dangerous to travel in the Frostland in such a small craft. It means that some convoy passed here a long time ago, perhaps in a hurry. Otherwise, it would have they would have taken uh, the body to bury it. So, uh, then there's a trailer wreck. This guy has a lot of stuff on him, but, you know. it's why, But not actually that much, when you think about it. I would like more people, though. Let's see, I think, uh, no, these are guys are... Yeah, so we got average favor. We're going to ask for more food. And we're going to finish the safe route. So we're pleased to report everything went as planned. This place will serve as a great vantage point, as well as a clear uh, visual guide for the future expeditions going between our settlements. Uh, and then the safe route can be assumed as secured. All right, that's it. So they're going to want me to build one over here as well, so I'll get going on that one as well. As soon as I can over overdrive that, I'm gonna or not overdrive. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm talking generator terms. Yeah, there's a little bit of. I guess this one should be heating level two. I don't, why am I not doing that actually with that one? I forgot I didn't do that. You for some reason this is not one you have to do, but the the range setting you do have to actually set that too.
I actually might over overwork these guys though, because I want more wood too. Having fun at the public house? No, not that's not allowed. No fun allowed. I need some workers though. I'm just seeing where to where to arrange people. But yeah, getting I don't know. I I, I just I don't normally take the the work the engineers off of here uh, either, so I just keep it the way it is. And yeah, again, it's there's not enough people to to work on this thing, so. And there's a trailer wreck. A heavy freight trailer is stuck in an ice crevasse. Such vehicles are uh, to be hauled, hauled by dr land dread, not steel. Memory of giants. Looking at the massive bulk of the trailer, we can't help but to marvel at the power of such land dreadnoughts, which roamed the frost line before the great storm, bringing scores of people north. Where was this convoy headed? Alas, we won't find out. The storm erased all the traces. So, I don't think that's referring to... That's not the winter home one, I think. It was... Yeah, this is not the winter home, I think. That, that They wouldn't have made it very far in that case, so we'll just say no, that's not them. The trailer wreck, it says specifically. I don't know, it just looked like a like a one, so I'm gonna send this guy all the way back. And this guy can go right to Mirror Lake, so... We're kind of starting to run out of places actually to explore now, so... Which is what typically happens in this scenario. You just kind of run out. Alright, so for this guy... I'm gonna ask for... I was gonna ask for workers, but I guess he doesn't have that, so I'm gonna ask for steel then. I guess I'll ask for from the, from the wood guys if they have it. Nope. Yeah, we, we, that's all we got. So I, I can start... I want to I wanna finish up what I was doing with the... Uh, let's do overtime this. And is everybody working, though? Smiths. Well, we'll get some more coal in a moment, but you see, like, coal has just not been really a major problem. I do have some people over here that have it, but yeah. Guess we don't really need two people working on this either, so... I know, but I guess I don't have anywhere else to put anybody, so... Alright, house redesign completed, and then, let's see... Infirmary checklist isn't the worst because that's uh, healing people faster and it's actually, yeah, it's not overly expensive, but again, I would rather have the straddle carriers because I want to raise the output of the of the warehouse even more because it is steel. It's like just money, right? That's what it is. You have more steel on the way. And like we're starting to like run out of wood here too, which is also important. So that's it. We're really grateful for all the work and supplies you provided. We'd like to ask you to solve an issue though. Uh, the people are uh, disturbed by the sight of our dead whose frozen bodies we stored to co compost them later. They're talking about a, a snow pit. They want to build a cemetery to bury them. Why? We have a snow pit. Like in the old times. This is not our way. We want to respect the wishes of our dead to be returned to the circle of life. Not trapped in the primer frost together. Will you help us prepare a, com uh, a composting pit for them? So you can say, build you a proper one. We'll have to build a cemetery or a composting pit, which hot springs will be pleased. Discontent will rise. We will help you with the pit. That's fine. Uh, let's see. This guy is waiting here. I'm just trying to get the steel. There it is. Safe route. Everything went as planned. It will be a vantage point and it's assumed secure. We're going to get a high peak. We're now very much running out of resources now. So with these guys, I will ask for wood instead of workers, actually. I would like workers at some point, but I need some wood to keep this going. And we're going to start making stuff here, too. So they're going to give us uh, some food for the composting pit that we're going to make for them. We have to do this home repairs thing as well at some point, but we'll see. Here's Mara Lake. Although we found uh, warm springs on the frost line pre previously, this time we have sadly deluded ourselves. It's just a mirage. Sunlight is reflected on the surface of the ice, probably due to the temperature gradient in the air. There's nothing to see here. Victims colony. So let's, ha let's head up to victims colony. Very sad state of affairs for us all. So we're going to get regular food shipments now. We don't have to really care too much about that anymore, which is really nice. I like that a lot. There is an upgraded steel team. Yeah, okay. I'm wondering why I needed that, actually. I guess I needed that to accept all the, the resources that it wants from me, so... And maybe I forgot about that, I don't know. Alright, so, adaption. 
Let's see. So we're done all that. We're not ever doing dueling law. Uh, and care house is, uh, I don't know, kind of useful, but uh, we'll do child shelters because I, like I said, I we never did that. So we'll just we'll just go down that road. Here we go. We now send shipment safely. The new haulers are truly a marvel of silence. I guess I did need that, but it's okay. I don't think I, I only maybe missed that most one food shipment. It's not, it's not a deal breaker. We confirm the safe route between our settlements has been successfully established. It will allow us to quickly respond to emergencies and give us much of the needed sense of stability. From now on, we'll be sending you shipments of raw food every other day. We hope this route will benefit both our peoples greatly. So, hope we'll rise slightly. All good to go. So we got still nine days to worry about New London's response, but we have like a lot of time to do whatever we want, so. And I have to, yeah, I was gonna say, do I have to, can I do any more things? And it looks like I can't. I'm just overtiming at this point, so. Actually, that one can be given a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I have to wait for him because he needs like 50 wood, so. I think I have wood, wood coming, right? Yeah. What's coming very soon, so. There's a victim's colony, survivors. So, def this is definitely a former exile colony. It seems to have some new inhabitants. A burden too great. When we approached the uh, 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 pal palisade, palisade uh, we notice that the gate is ajar. We enter cautiously and see ourselves surrounded by uh, silhouettes of people wandering aimlessly among the settlement's buildings. They react to our presence only when we talk to them. It seems that these people have lost everyone and everything in the great storm, even their will to live. We can try to move them to our outpost. Even if they agree, we have to escort them. So again, this is, uh, the, if you went here too early, you would have no choice but to send them back and potentially have a problem uh, with food. So we're, we'll offer to bring them. Some survivors, but unfortunately not all, saw some sense when we proposed to move them to our outpost. Perhaps we, maybe you can, re uh, can they re recover over time? They packed their meager belongings set off with us. All right, that's it for that. So this guy will eventually have enough. Okay, there. now we got a bunch of wood. So now there's another crevasse zone. So we can say, while prospecting the safe route to the ship ramp, uh, shipwreck camp, one of our people almost fell into a hidden crevasse. We checked the surroundings and unfortunately discovered that the whole area is full of such dangers. We could build some bridges to secure the route or just mark this part as dangerous so no people will notice the science. So we could sec secure it, which uh, 40 wood we spent. I don't think this does anything to, like, to, to, to secure it. I don't think it really does anything. I think they find out about it and they're, then they're like unhappy about it. I think that's all it does, but I'm gonna just say no. To just issue the warnings, and that's it. I I don't think it really does anything. I I recall that being a like a yeah. I don't know. It's it's always something with this. Is like, again, they've done it a lot less here. So here we go. Homes repair, materials repair, bunkhouses, and other dwellings. They'll give us some wood in return. All good. So the food guys are good. Let's go ask for more food because we're a little bit on the edge with that. Uh, no pun intended. So our food is like a little bit, yeah. We need we need some more. All right, so let's do safe fruit depot upgrade for them, just so we can get that going. Wrap up well. the frost is here. All right, for this last one, I'm going to do a heating zone extension upgrade, which I would like to do. Is this almost uh, ready? They are. We can do 12 hours of this. That's fine. And so they, this is essentially 12 hours of, whoops, do this one. It's 12 hours of uh, wooden supports is what that is. So I just try and use that whenever it's on, on cooldown. So one second, I'm going to, to rearrange everybody. So oops, no, don't, I didn't mean to press that. We're trying to get the most out of that building. So there you go. We got 200% efficiency from it. So that's, that's quite nice. All right, and with that being said, we can do uh, radiator extensions. So that will allow us to increase the range. That's always good. This one doesn't have anything else it's doing. I can go do that. This is why I kind of am trying to bring the coal into here as well, but we have more people coming in. So hopefully that will be all we need. What I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll probably just do it half and half. That's what I'll probably do. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we really don't have the resources for this right now, so we'll have to wait on that. Yeah, and then we have some people coming in as well. And we also have, we should have a bunch of coal coming in too, which is why I did that. 
The fever. Sir, a fever is spreading around the people in hot springs. The local refuse to treat them in the medical post. They see that fever, fever is merely a consequence of our unnatural lifestyle and offers some herbal medicine, remedies. It's basically vegans. Uh, we could threaten these nuts and, and make them listen to reason and hope uh, the outbreak will end on its own. We'll just hope that will pass. That's what we'll do. Again, it's discontent will rise. It's discontent is manageable, so... We're, we, we are more than happy to deal with it. All right. So let's get this guy. That's the last one. Safe route. We're pleased to tell you everything went as planned. Great vantage point. It's a visual guide. That's it. Safe route built. And we don't have anything else to build for them. And we don't care about uh, the children's mind. Screw the children's mind. What has the children's mind ever done for us? And we're going to start probably trying to make some better housing soon because the these tents will not last actually with that. So... Uh, so we could do medic apprentices, or we could do engineer apprentices. This was the path I didn't—I showed you before, but we were like, yeah, we didn't really do—we didn't really do much for it. These are. This is not like a great bonus, but to be fair, you only need like one one. I think you only need one. Uh, uh, essentially, child shelter from it. So uh, we have to. We will have to build it. Though. I haven't done it yet. It's like five wood, twenty steel. I have to see if I did it. So education is the key to our future. It's teach our children in uh, medicine so they can help with the sick. Yeah, I, I have a, I have a still a fair bit of time to make it, so I'm doing medical stuff just because research is going to run out real fast. So, cold homes, uh, we will actually not address this. The reason why is because if we're about to have a temperature drop once again. We we physically cannot do anything about it. So, all right, this guy's back. Let's go up here. I want to wait for the radiators to come over. So, all right. Thank you for the medics that you, you sent to help with our healthcare. So much more sick uh, kids in beds. And we don't see the youngest, but the youngest, unfortunately, wind up at the end of the queue. Could you tell your medics to start with the most severely strict? Otherwise, the kids will organize themselves. So if you say start with the sickest kids, uh, the healthcare will improve, but they'll be displeased, which I'm not sure why. I, I guess it's one of my people saying this. I'm, I'm not sure why it does that, but I just let them organize themselves. It doesn't matter. For the healthcare, I think it's again, it's one that decisions don't really matter. It just it's uh, it, the illusion of decisions. There is no decisions here. Uh, we definitely need some more of coal. Well, as you is, I'll say proper houses just to send back a little bit more coal for us. Chipper camp, safer is ready. We'll make uh, travel between our settlements much faster. So in case of emergency, we are able to support each other. Brown will be sending you shipments of resources every other day. Let's hope we both prosper. All good. All right. So with that being said, we got the children's mind. Give me some steel. And uh, even in the face of all this, I just don't bother with uh, anything else. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some wood from them because I'm gonna definitely need that moving forward. We're almost done on the wood here. There's a little bit left over there. I'm probably not going to bother with that. I'll probably just get the wood that's over here, and then that's it. All right, there's your range. We have to be careful, though, because... Where is it at? It's definitely using a lot more than it should right now. You can level... Uh, no, that's not that one. This is the one. It's going to be range. Unfortunately, you can't change the range while it's in that mode. It is what it is. All right, so with that, we can do one child center... Uh, child uh, uh, shelter right there. That should be the only one we need, I will, I will say. But, you know, you know what they say, shoulda, woulda, could I guess. Now, this is the really annoying, uh, basically, wood patch here, because it's actually not, well, it's actually not enough wood. That's a different situation. That's a good, that's a good problem to have, actually. So I'm gonna do some rearranging of the, how this is. There you go. Because I will actually want to tear up the road over here and see if I can get any more going here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Can we put another house over here? I know it's bunkhouse. I'm not going to make that, though. Uh, we do have an additional research to do, but I don't think there's anything... I mean, a steam core thumper, a coal thumper would not be the worst thing because it's just a flat upgrade to it, so... Uh, we'll just wait on that. Unfortunately, we're running out of everything, so... Let's see... May have to shuffle some people around. How's our coal doing right now? Not great. So here's what we're gonna do. This guy is going to start working. Just to just to kind of keep the coal going for a little bit longer here. 
I'm waiting for the people to come in because uh, yeah, I, 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 and we're kind of on the. <laughs> I don't want to make another on the edge joke, but we're definitely having a bit of problems around there. C children cared for. Okay, so this is the only one you need because there's 15 children in the shelter. You never get any more than that. So you just need the one shelter. The thing that it kind of does a little bit suck though. It's not the best. I'm going to bring these people back in though. I, I, are, they're not sick, are they? I, I think they're sick though. Yeah, they are sick, whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, that one's fine. Do I have uh, more people coming in? Yeah, there they are. We got some more people here, that's fine. Oh, that's a lot of sick people. What the hell? All right, let's uh, let's get some. Let's get another infirmary. I don't think I'm gonna need it permanently, but I know it's not in the heat zone. It's. I'm just gonna basically, yeah, heat it up, and that's it. What was the thing I was gonna do? I think I was gonna do Steam Workshop, but I think I'm gonna actually do the other one. Yeah, actually, I think we need the the, the coal thumper. Actually, I may have changed my mind on that. Let's see. Can we rearrange some things here? Let's see. We could get some coal kilns. Increased trade as well as... Uh, ki kilns, not kilns, sorry. Did it again. Alright, so I'm going to actually start asking for some... Either some wood or some steel from these guys. I'm going to ask for steel. Because again, it's the currency. Uh, so we'll do overflow redirection, which is more... Basically... Uh, that's more food we can get from them too. I'm going to trade resources with them, even though I, that's my coal. I probably shouldn't have done that, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. And I can do this. Where's some engineers? There they are. I definitely don't need so many people working on this stuff, so... There you go. That should do it. I don't need I don't need so many researchers. All right, so you could always do sawmill extension, but again, that's 50 wood and 30 steel for that. Why would you do that? I don't know. So we'll do the we'll do the the new thumper. That's what we'll do. Can I get? Is there any more engineers around that I can move from somewhere else? Yes, there's one over here. I, I thought we had a like a flat number somewhere. All right, and the good station. I'll just put I'll just throw them right into there. So there's actually nothing else for these scouts to do. What I might do is I might just send this one as a. Oh no, nah, I won't bother. I'm, I, we could do that later. We could disband the team now, which gives us some of the wood back, which is really nice. We don't need to do much else, though. So now we actually have an, an overabundance of workers now. But we can send some of them over, so this is like less people have to house, which is really nice. So we'll send us some, some food over there. So again, the children's mind is more than happy to basically help us out. We will, get, we will always ask for steel. Um, or, or whatever, it doesn't matter which one you kind of say. I'm going to emergency shift the uh, this building as well. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people in treatment here. Again, efficiency is a big, uh, big thing. If you're spending all that resources on it, it's like, you might as well. Why did people get sick all of a sudden? I don't even know. There's probably something going on here that, uh... Yeah, these guys are all sick. Okay. And I just have some people left over for whatever reason. All right, last offices. There, one of the people in Hot Springs has died, and the locals want to use his body uh, as a crop fertilizer, like they do with their own dead. I have one of uh, uh, I have one of his friends on the line. Hello, sir. They want to compost Frank. Those sick bastards. Please don't let them do it. They'll take offense, but fuck their feelings. So we can send the body home. Hope will rise. Uh, they'll be displeased. I'll just give them the body. Who cares? Doesn't matter. It don't matter. Uh, let's see, what do we want to make now? I want to keep making houses though, for sure. We need we need wood for that, which we're not getting any more wood, unfortunately, because of reasons. They should be sending us wood pretty regularly, but I for some reason I have like a, a lot of people sick. I didn't actually expect that. So one of the things that the that it does is during work time for the ch child shelters, it raises their efficiency during that time, is what it what it kind of does. It's really weird and wonky how it works, but it, yeah, it's it is what it is. You'll see. I'll I'll show you next time we get the chance. This one is uh, 
So what I could do is I can move them into here and then overwork them there. Yeah, whatever. Hold on for a couple more days. I probably should stop overworking them because, yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they're, they're not a huge fan of that, as you can imagine. All right, so we got raw food and fo food rations here. Small goods station built uh, at the crossroads. The routes lead north towards New London, uh, north and east towards the mountains. Nothing here, move on. That Whatever warehouse contains does not belong to us. Well, it no longer belongs to anybody, so we broke into it. I expect we found some canned food and frozen meat inside. Both will be certainly useful to us. Isolated camp. So, I may have to be a little bit concerned about that. Let's see. I, I have... Wait, why is there no... Okay, I have to actually over... Over... Do that thing. Because we actually have no more... That's a problem. Why did... That not work. I just realized that, like, uh... We ran out of coal, and that's gonna really piss everybody off when that happens. Let's see. I'll give them the rebuild, just so you send me some coal. I want to, I want to like, make the houses and stuff. We have a lot of steel, though, so that's all good. We'll, uh, we'll let that be angry for now. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, alright, so there's really nothing else we could do here. I mean, we could just do dueling wall if we want to. We can start doing care house, uh, if we want. I mean, that's not a bad one to get, so might as well. Alright, well, unfortunately, we no longer have the heating now. It's a little bit conflicted right now on that, so... I guess we should get the advanced uh, burners. I'm not going to bother baking anything else up here. We'll, uh, we'll destroy it when we get the chance. Let's get this ship ready. We can do this last one here. There we go. Just need a bit more wood. It's a little bit tighter than I thought it would be, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we don't want to lose. That would suck if we lose. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to definitely need some more wood. So let's get some wood. We don't need workers anymore, so that's the nice part about this. So let's get their sawmill and also their kiln. Both are worth it to get. I'm hoping that we can finish up uh, whatever it wants for the wood. Oh, we need a little bit more. Come on. Really? Oh, it ran out. Oh, I see. Alright, one second. We can now dismantle this completely. And with that, I can now say I want advanced burners, because that would be partially solving the problem here. Alright, isolated camp. Uh, tent surrounded by barbed wire and a fence of several people, probably guards patrolling the area at considerable distance from the camp. Vic victims of the epidemic. As we have a closer look, it looks like this is a quarantine center belonging to New London. Apparently our former home was affected by some kind of epidemic that they tried to suppress and put the infected here far from the healthy population. We decided to steer clear of this place before the guards noticed our pre presence. Nothing to do here. And that's it. That's the last one. So, basically shit went down in New London. Let's just go with that. They had they had some slight problems. Oh, this, is not wor this is not functional. I don't think I need this anymore, though, to be fair, so... But I'll, uh, I'll leave it going for now. We're, we're, we'll have to do, pay attention to the... Let, convince people to trust you, though. Where's the care house? Uh, we need some wood and steel again for that. I got a bunch of wood on the way, so... So we're good on food for now, so we're gonna ask for steel. What are they at? Worker play. Sir, as you may have noticed, coal shipments from the coal mines are uneven. This isn't due to any technical difficulties. Some kids just can't focus. They sometimes play all day and just work a couple hours. Are you trying to make, the, make them keep their working hours or just let them plan their own time? Just let them plan their own time. I don't care. Ironically, it's, uh, yeah, the coal is just, it is what it is. All right, children's mine. So, it says, after the coal mine was uh, rebuilt, uh, the amount of work needed to extract coal fell radically. Some of the children have nothing to do and are wandering aimlessly and playing the whole day. Working kids are envious of that and attempt to take away their food, claiming that they don't deserve it. We don't know what to do about that. Clearly, there's a you don't work, you don't eat sentiment around here. So you can build and man a cookhouse, which they will be displeased. So I guess we're taking over it. So it will be destroyed by our men. Um, we could take unemployed children to hot springs. 
which the children's mind will be dis displeased or we can just do nothing, which is, I don't, I don't know if it, it doesn't really matter here. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to just do nothing. Who cares? All right, we got another one here. Uh, after, after rebuilding the coal mine, we can think about connecting our settlements with a safe route that will let us travel without fear of being stranded in the snow. If you build it, we'll send you a shipment of coal every day. Not really a huge concern, but we'll see if we make it. And we're, we're starting to get to the point now where I can probably just uh, remove some of the workshops or something. I guess we don't really need this infirmary. I kind of built it temporarily, but yeah, I really don't need it. I probably should have just made... Uh, who died? How? Lack of treatment. Well, that's your fault because there's only four people in there. So that's like a... That's a bug. <laughs> if I've ever seen one. All right. So we got we got a day to basically remove the discontent. Let's do the care house because that will be... Probably make discontent fall, I say. But not knowing actually if that will. I'll just put it over there. Oh, now we got a lot of uh, houses now. All right, what's your issue? Uh, we need your help. We know we're asking for a lot, but we need better housing. These huts we're living in now are too crowded and don't hold the heat in. Plus, we want some of the people living, uh, we want some people living separately from others. We used to think we could trust each other, but we were proven wrong. So we could say we'll build common uh, monk houses will be displeased, or we will just say well, we'll build separate quarters. That's fine. That's I think that's literally just saying like you're building it twice when you don't need to. Care house has been built. And I guess at the minute I deconstruct, of course, is when this all happens, so that's all great. Let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a lot of these. Let's see. Oh, that, this was not... That's why they're fucking getting sick. It's because that when the heater went down, uh, everything got... Uh, fuck. I realized that the coal did that. That actually may have ended the scenario for me. I just realized this. Because nothing's being heated anymore. That's why. They're all getting sick because of that. Son of a... Okay, there we go. Okay, we're fine. It didn't end it. It's okay. <laughs> just... A little bit mad about that. Okay, that actually is like completely game ruining. I forgot it did that. It removes heaters everywhere that I need the heaters. Oh my god. That's so that's so game ruining actually. I just realized because people aren't working or anything right now. I totally forgot I would do that. Anyways, whatever. Uh, let's go. Hey, give me some more wood. Hello, thank you, my friend. All right. So they're right now loyal to me, despite the fact I did something that annoyed them. So, you know, they're, that's what I mean. They're all loyal to me right now, except for this guy. But that's fine. I can do infrastructure repairs. Uh, let's see. Separate quarters. Is that hard? No, it's just a... Well, now the coal is, is probably a no-go. Let's see. Wood production will rise even further. That's not bad. And they can survive harsh condition in which they work. Uh, I'm going to wait more for the... Uh, the basically the wood to finish up here actually so i could do advanced heaters which is also a very good one uh but not really right now gathering post insulation that's not a bad one man that's game running oh man i, fo I forgot i would do that uh how's our food doing not particularly well we'll do it just in case all right, and again, we will ask for steel from them, and that's fine. Hey, what's going on? Children's mine. There's a commotion amongst the kids that it took us a while to sort out, but we found three children are missing. The other children said they went out to play, but nobody has seen them for at least a day. Finally, one child admitted they sneaked into the mine. We have to find them quickly. Your people formed a rescue party, but we don't know this mine as well as the kids. A few of the bigger toys uh, were offered to guide them. So you say, let the adults handle this, or let's save them together. Just might as well just send the entire gang over. Scooby and the gang can go deal with that. It's fine. Let's see. Several quarters. Uh, we can do... Yeah, I was going to... Hold on to that, but I guess I'll I guess I won't then. All right, there's your scouts. I'll I'll send them to New London just to see what New London's all about. Twenty two hours to arrive. 
God, that was so that was so ruining. Actually, I just realized that. Oh yeah, he wants prosthesis, right? Yeah, here we go. I'm not I'm not making prosthesis for him. That guy can screw himself. That's like steel. We can't afford. That's literally money. All right. And also, the public house isn't heated either. Did I? I don't think I set the. I didn't lower the range either. Okay. Couple things that are ruining because it sets. I I always hate that about that. It'll, it'll range raise the range which you don't need really, but not the heating level which is something I would actually want it to raise. <laughs> so I forgot it did that too. All right, this is the most unoptimal run that you that you'll ever see. But yeah, it is what it is. House. How much uh, housing do we still need? Bank and beds. A bunch of that. We'll see. All right. Our engineers found out that someone sabotaged one of the main pumps in the uh, heating the hot houses. If some crops are lost, it'll take us at least a day to resume food production. We believe this to be the work of New London or their sympathizers. We are anxious that if they do this again and cripple the food production, that we may starve. To prevent this, we will should work together even closer before. Do you agree? And say yes. So, uh, either way, the food shipments will be halved for two days. But I don't. For some reason, I don't. I don't know what the again. These these choices are meaningless. So you just say, yeah, sure, let's do it. And see what he was he mad about. So our team reports that they found the lost kids near a collapsed shaft, and almost immediately they were hungry, thirsty, scared, but otherwise unharmed. Our young guides were so confident about where to look in this labyrinth that my gr men grew suspicious. One of the younger kids said something about a test, but uh, immediately was silenced by the others. Glad we could help. So I think it just gets rid of some people or something in there. It's it is what it is. All right, since we have some discontent that we can manage, let's get an emergency shift and do that. Where are they all at? Are they, are they eating? Or are they at home or in treatment or something? So the people in treatment, I'm going to... Wow, that's a lot of people in treatment. Why are there so many? Again, this doesn't make any sense to me. Let's see, can I put some engineers in here? Yeah, we, okay, there we go. Now nah, it's all good. How's that one doing? Once again, there's people inside things that shouldn't be... Uh, I, it didn't quite go 100% again, but it is what it is. All right, separate quarters, sure. I, I have to, like, manage the heat again. I guess I should have a look at that. Children's mine. Give me some steel, thanks. <laughs> I always found that to be really funny. It's just like you don't ever, yeah. All right, that's it. This is the last bit, bit of them. And we could do probably a house over here. Yeah, that's it. There's, there's nothing else in this zone that I could possibly kind of get going here. All right, gathering post installation. So... I could do probably cookhouse. So the last research down here, this is just like to make uh, steam cores more efficient to export. But as you can see, I'm not really bothering with it because I actually just made way too many of them. I'm going to heal some people faster though. I will do that at least. So, oh yeah, here's the efficiency upgrade. So kids helping out is 24% extra, but it only is during the time which the school's in session. So you're getting 20% plus 24%, which is kind of nice. So... Uh, I guess there's nothing for us to do with them, so we can't communicate or anything. All right, I was thinking maybe there was something you to do with us, but I guess not. How much time do we have? We have four days to confront New London, so. Let's see, what can we do here? What can we do here? We've already done that. Uh, joint watch, that sounds good. We may have to swap it at some point, but not right now. I also have to make that steam uh, coal thumper as well. I kind of forgot about that, too. Damn, been left to the wayside, huh? Uh, I don't bother with the safe route to the children's vine because who cares about the children's vine? Like, they, they don't give you anything, so. I want food and stuff, though. Alright. 
Uh, it's not your problem, but since we worked together, we thought you might want to have a say. Some of our people, men we trusted, were exposed as murderers. We don't want them among us, obviously, but we've known them for a long time. We feel like they deserve at least a chance of survival. They agreed to leave the place in peace if we give them some gear and supplies and make their exile less like a death sentence. Can you provide them with some supplies? They, can, they must stay, or you can say sure. Which is, uh, you're effectively, again... Whereas they, they unlock supplies for it, which you give them steel, coal, and food kind of thing. Which, you know, I might, I might as well, I guess. Send a major shipment of food rations. Sure, we can do that. And I will start asking for more wood. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I, the main thing I want is I just want to maintain loyalty, so... I will do the loyalty stuff and that's it, so... All right, looks like our housing is good, so, and that's it. We can make additional housing or, or two, and that's it. Wait, wait, what, what did it just destroy? No, not that. Sorry, I clicked the wrong thing, apparently. So I can make, like, two extra homes just so that they, we guarantee that they will, is this, did it make a fat house? I think it made a fat house, didn't it? Yeah, it was going to make a fat house. I caught it though, it's all good. Alright, what's this guy is all about? You know you probably do, uh, I, I know that you probably wish you didn't have anything to do with it, but there was a little bit of unrest in our camp. With our registered hand, we managed to uncover the most hideous uh, criminal hiding in our ranks. What we did, uh, what we, uh, we did what we uh, had to be a long, uh, done a long time ago. It was a danger to us all. We hope you can appreciate that. We ask for your some resources necessary to repair the damage caused during, caused during the unrest. This happened because, of course, I didn't throw away the, the machine, so... You can say, what you need is a guard post, and we can say, of course, of course, so. We, we won't give them the, the good old order. Alright, I'll give them another house or two. I'll be like, eh, wait, how much, how much free beds are there? Actually, there's a lot of vacancies, actually, right now. We don't need any more of this. Because with this, there's 27 vacancies, and that's it. We have plenty of houses and everything, so we're all good. So let's go keep um, bringing out steel and everything, then. Uh, we will need the research for... I guess we kind of have that one going, so we can just keep it going. I want to do the uh, the additional heaters. Oh, right. Let's not forget, as well, uh, the, the steam thumper. I kind of forgot about that. We got four days left. I just want to make sure that they're all loyal, at least, so... For some reason, I can't make these guys loyal right now, so... But we'll do it in a minute. Again, favor... We need some more food, I guess. We might need we may need more people to work on this. Actually, I have plenty of people around. Just haven't uh, been uh, been over here yet. Firmary checklist completed, and so with that, so cookhouse insulation wouldn't be the worst thing either. But I want I want advanced heaters. I really actually need that. So what? Let's get this shipment ready. Yeah, this is this has worked out pretty well. Okay, I, I managed to fix all the disasters, and suddenly now the sick is much more manageable somehow. Almost like if you play the game and you play correctly, uh, you won't have a problem. All right, let's go bring these people out to spend. We got some more stuff to work around with. So there's there's some more helping hands that we can kind of get going here. I will bring them over. All done. Want some new pumps too. I'll likely bring in some workers, but for now, yeah. Just bring some more steel. Again, I've been taking steel the entire time, and that's like that's just how it's been, so. I'll bring I'll get some more workers because we don't have enough people on that right now. Although I could I could take people off of something. Probably this lumber mill at some point. Inconvenient truth. Sir, our team in Hot Spring reports that repairing the damage from the geyser eruption, they found out what most likely was responsible for the disaster. Apparently, when we fixed the pumps, we disturbed the flow of water underground. Some of the locals already con uh, already considered the eruption nature's punishment for bringing technology to Hot Springs. What do we do? Blame the unstable uh, uh, geyser or come clean and apologize. Might as well just come clean and apologize. Like I said, I'm trying not to annoy them, so... And there's uh, nothing else we can do here, so we're all done. Everything here, unless we really want triage, which we don't. 
Uh, always good to come clean. Have a have a clear conscience about it. Can I do this? No, I went, I shouldn't do the the supports yet. That's why I'm like I'm not sure if the wood to steel is actually like a great idea. I don't think it really is to be honest. But like it's only if like the wood is really free, I guess. I was really hoping for it. There we go. New pumps. All right. They should be all good. Further help with rebuilding. So now they're going to want steam cores, so. Heater efficiency wouldn't be the worst, but. I mean, I think I have enough coal now that I can just make whatever work at this point. So, yeah, we don't need additional scouts. Even the sleds is probably questionable if I even need that to begin with. Uh, cookhouse installation is, I don't know, I could just heat it as well. So what I might do is I'm going to probably take two people off of here. Really not much else I need to do at this point. Is this one almost done? It almost is done. But it's really, we just need more steel. I think we just need more steel is, is really what it comes down to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overtime and use the supports here. And yeah, we got, unfortunately, some guy that, well, a bunch of people were like, oh, we need to go to, <laughs> we, need to we need to, we need to go to the, whatever the thing is, the, they need to go to treatment, but yeah. But it, we have a lot of stuff here that we can kind of like move around and wherever, so we have a, we have a lot of leeway. There you go, 200% efficiency. Just trying to maximize the amount of uh, coal and everything that we get, so. Shipwreck, all right, so supplies for the exiled. We can do that in a moment here. I don't have anything else I can do for them. I'm gonna still trade some supplies for wood because that's pretty easy for me to do. Can I, yeah, so they got their food now. I don't really care about what they want. I, I There might be an achievement to get, like, get them all to like fully upgrade and loyal. I, I don't really manage that at all because it's like, yeah. All right, let's see what they say. So, we were biting our tongues, but we can no longer remain silent. All the changes you brought to agriculture, all this technology we can't understand or even uh, even use turned turned people into cheap labor for you. Our crops are now completely dependent upon the pumps you've installed. We toil knee deep in dirt while your people chill around the machines. They won't even hear about the teaching of how to use and maintain them. Calling us careless dolts, this has to change. So it goes, my people are right, which they'll be really pissed off, or we will teach you, which is just can tell rise and they'll be pleased. So you might as well just do that one, because it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll teach you how to use machines, use technology. That's fine. So probably after this day, I'm going to switch this over to... So we still have three days left before we have to do anything with New London. But we'll get some more coal as well to get stockpiled. But like I said, this one's actually pretty good at this. It's like, uh, yeah, we got enough coal gain uh, from this as well. So at this point, everything is now a bonus. And as you would expect, uh, any anything that you get for coal uh, from... Uh, you don't do coal upgrades for the children's mine, so it's even more like worthless that place, so. Alright, what's going on? Lost belongings. Sir, one of the families complains that their heirlooms brought from London before the uh complains that their heirlooms brought from London for before the collapse were stolen. They saw two men from the shipwreck camp near their home and they demand that you take action immediately. They want they want you to send these people back to where they came from. You can expel them or we have no proof. Which is discontent will rise. So, we don't really have any proof, that's fine. Again, the discontent rising, it's not even that much discontent, you know. Yeah, it looks like this guy's done now, too. There's no more sawmill. Alright, so at this point, if you really want to, you can get these last ones, but I kind of just tore up the road in anger. Obviously, sure, anger. So, it don't really matter at this point. We could we could do some last bit of research like that. Uh, what, what's the, the cookhouse installation? That's always good to do. We can get some uh, more coal. We will send them new machines. I would like to get the last uh, last one going there, but I want to make sure I get the rest of it going. It looks like uh, I guess the I can't do anything else with these guys because it's uh, my loyalty is is maxed out with them and everything. So I did kind of like all the good stuff I guess for it. You know, let's get some more steel. There we go. Even though wood's gonna be a little bit of a problem, basically if the shipwreck camp asks for it, we will uh, we will be able to get 
more stuff on them, but you can see it's like more steel because they don't ask for that, do they? So here's why I hope that I can get a second to uh, shuffle them off of that. Yeah, there we go. At the beginning of the next day, I'll probably I'll probably also give them the uh, the wind supports and that set. Now, mind you, I could go to the the last part of the tech tree and like there's house insulation and other stuff for it, which would be I guess kind of good to do. But again, the temperature is like completely fine right now, so that's why I don't really bother with it. So there you go. It it drops a little bit, but it's very manageable, so you don't really have to worry about it. And then, yeah, it's. I think this is as, this is as low as the temperature goes. So, effectively, if you go for that last level of tech, right, you're basically spending the the 150 gold, uh, not gold, 150 wood. Basically, might as well be gold and 100 steel, right? And I don't really bother with it because what are you really missing out on? Uh, some coal thumper upgrades that you're not going to use. I have efficient gathering and stuff. I could just get here. It's fine. Um, we're, we're not going to use the additional scouts, and the heating doesn't have it last here. So I don't actually bother with it at all. I don't. I don't get the last year because it's. They're not resources that are as free as they used to be. I'm going to go eat. You eat at a time like now. All right. Uh, your machines are scary and they do not belong in our settlement. But since they're here, we're grateful that we can use them. Your people were a bit gruff initially, but we had many questions and trouble understanding the answers. But after a while, we got it. Thanks for the help. There's no, there, there's nothing more to improve now. But knowledge says we can now manage machinery if you decide to leave. Leave Hot Springs one day is comforting. All right, carry on. That's it. So I'm doing this just for the last two of these. Uh, why is it 130? Oh, because this is not. Uh, no, because they're basically not eating, I think. There you go. That's supposed to be like 0. 0.3 for the steam cores. One steam core, and we can get the other one going too. Child's play. Sir, the missing heirlooms, which were supposedly stolen by people in the shipwreck camp, we were found. Should that the children took them to use as pu props in their puppet theater. We're, we're, we'll get out sooner or later. Should we do something about it? We could apologize to them, which discontent will rise. I don't know. It was our fault. Or blame the convicts. So we'll, we'll apologize. We'll be, we're, we're big boys. All right, cookhouse insulation. Uh, we could do, uh, again, we could do like efficient gathering or whatever, but I don't know. Nothing, there's not much else here that's really fantastic, so. I don't really, I don't really bother with any of the rest of it, so. Actually, the one level of the, the insulation wouldn't be bad. Because I just noticed it was at uh, level three, so. All right, and we can send out the buildings. We can get some food and coal sent over. And let's see. So shipwreck camp, we can say, give us some wood. We'll let this guy finish up a little bit here because we can maybe get another steam core out of it. No. All right, we're gonna go switch over to the, back to steel because steel is the king. I don't think there's much else for us to do with that anyways at this point, so... Alright, so they're a little bit happier now. Let's see. Oh, so we got really high favor with these guys. So we can actually say we want a lot of food and some food and some workers. I actually want the other options. I don't want that one, so... I actually should have done it much sooner. Yeah, I want steel and stuff, so I'm gonna start asking for steel again. Again, there's no disadvantage with, with actually just requesting a bunch of stuff from them, so... So you might as well just use it, right? And get some wood as well. And look, look at all this incoming resources here. Look at all this. 100, 50, 65, 75. Some food, some steel, some steel. There you go. You might as well, right? It is kind of cool how, how it does like play to like a lot of like just working together and stuff. But that's, uh, I, I kind of like that element of it. Now, when it gets to the end of this, after that, it's going to basically tell us that we can't uh, upgrade people anymore after that, is what it's going to do, so you might as well just uh, kind of finish up with whatever you wanted to do. I just wanted to finish at least the, uh, whatever the shipwreck camp wanted. Alright. We owe you gratitude. The amount of work you did for us is outstanding. We don't know how we could repay this debt. For now, there's nothing we could ask uh, you to do. We went through a lot, but the registry was a major blow to our community, but we hope these wounds will heal over time. Let's hope for the best. 
I unfortunately have way too much wood. <laughs> I, uh... Kind of uh, didn't realize I'd have that much. Uh, it's because they need uh, steam cores to, or the steam cores to get rid of it. But uh, I'll, I'll maybe overwork it li later for that. So, and try and get those done. All right, what are they about? Odd saboteur, your watchman caught an old man attempting to clog the steam pipes. We don't know why he tried to do it. But he's been acting strange recently, so maybe his mind is failing. We can't roll out New London's involvement. Nonetheless, we ask you to forgive him in the name of peace and harmony between our people. Lock him up, which he'll be pissed, or just let him go, which we'll just do that. Discontent will rise, who cares? That's that's really what the disadvantage is of choosing those passes, is just the discontent rises, and that's it. We don't really care. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. There's nothing else I really want to do here. Yeah, these are not worth the upgrade costs, essentially, so. Yeah, there's a lot of wood waiting here, so. All right, New Londoners are coming. Sir, a large group of people are heading to uh, to our city from New London. We don't know their intentions, but we must assume it's the vanguard of our punitive expedition. The moment of truth is coming, and the, 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 there will be a test of our resolve. So there's a lovely group of people are coming. I guess you could actually send someone out to deal with it faster, but it doesn't really matter. It is rather amusing, though. <laughs> So yeah, because we have the safe routes, food is no longer a problem. If you want to do it with the coal, you could, but like I have 800 coal and I didn't even do anything. I didn't even need it, so. I guess we don't need this anymore. So I would need the, I would need the hot houses. I'm gonna switch over to the steam cores and overtime them onto it. I guess I should have waited for them to actually get into it, so. We must help them. Th these poor people, they're starving. Trouble in New London, conflict. There's no, this, th that's no putative expedition. Those are ordinary people. Their delegates are here to ask for help. We fled hunger and chaos of New London. Everything is fa uh, falling apart there. Healthcare, the coal supply, even the generator. The administration just argues over what to do and no decisions are being made. Helpless, please, you're our only hope. Some of our people, recognizing their friends and relatives among the refugees, are embracing them and taking them to their home. We have no choice. We are. We must welcome them, of course. So we got, yeah, we got a lot of sick that are here, but that's fine. They'll eventually get dealt with. New London, Outpost 11. We heard there were some people from our city that have reached you. What they tell you is mostly true. We lost some crops, had a food shortage, used sawdust. Oh, the horror. Had labor shortages, then a melt general function, and things got out of control. To prevent panic, we tried to cover up the scale of the crisis. That's why we didn't tell you. We urgently need resources and people. Our relations weren't good recently, but please, can you help us? New London can't fall. We need to think about it. So, you got this guy. So, New London is collapsing. We don't have much time to reach a decision. Before we do it, we must we can consult with the other settlements, which have already promised not to make uh, make any requests until this is over. But we should listen to our people. What uh, what we do will now will change the uh, future not only for us but for all of the people in the Frostland. Okay. So we can now start hitting them up and see. So we have, we have a couple hours to go. Just hit them up and go like, hey, what's going on? With that, uh, yeah, this is just making steam cores essentially. So let's go ask. So we'll go uh, hit up uh, hit up the children's wine first. Discontent rises. It's good from here to hear from you. What is it? Uh, can you help us with New London? We're saddened to hear their plight of their of New London. It reminds us of the tragic fate of Winterhome. We should try to help them. Some of our children may have relatives there. If we decide to leave them to our fate, many will die, and this world saw too much too much death already. The decision is yours. Whether you choose to save New London or not, we'll we'll help you as much as we can. We we must stand together or we'll all freeze alone. Thank you. We have problems, can you help us? We need some steel. Thank you. Alright, that's uh they're on our side there. Uh there's uh, the lovely hot springs, so let's see what they say. Can you help us with New London? We don't know much about new, of New London, but it seems that uh, it seems that unlike you, the people fail to adapt to the changed world. If you let their city fall, they will strengthen your ranks and learn your ways. If you help them instead, your people may become assimilated by them. The nature is uh, is our ultimate judge and is useless to dispute her rulings. But whatever you decide, we won't deny help if you ask for it. Thank you. Very well. And last but not least, shipwreck camp. Sure, give us some more wood. 
Uh, just condemn rise of the speaker mind. So let's see. Can you help us with the new London? All those wealthy new Londoners are scum. No offense, pal. You're different. But they could go to hell with their generators and fancy houses. They grew too big, and the world will cut them down. If you if you help us, if, we, uh, if you help them, they'll only stab you in the back. Mark my words. In the end, each of us should stand or fall on our own. We say let New London fall, but we owe you, and we'll help. We'll help you with whatever you do. Thank you. All right, that's it. Saw so, a uh, chain here. Fate of New London. How quickly the mood changes. We are ready to fight New London, but many want to help them despite the huge cost. After all, people have fragile relatives there. On the other hand, if we, let New, if we let New London fall, we can take control of it. Although many of its inhabitants will die, we, we would also have to prefer for a massive wave of refugees. I need to think about it. Okay, so we've done them all. We can now go answer New London. So let's go talk to them. So... Post 11, we leave you loud and clear. How's the operation going? We have an answer. So we could say, we will save you, which is we will have to send people and resources to New London. We won't save you, which we'll have to wait for a huge wave of refugees, or we haven't decided yet. Uh, we'll just do So the difference is, we will save you. You have to send like a bunch of coal, a bunch of wood, a bunch of people, and a bunch of uh, steel and, and steam cores. That's what you have to do. If you say we will not save you, then we have to prepare for, it's like you have to make like four infirmaries, housing for like, I don't know, like 200 or 300 people or something, and, and a bunch of other stuff is what it makes you do. Um, this is the better route to go, is that you will save you. It's actually a lot easier, especially considering I did the loyalty route. So we'll just say that. They're not majorly different, to be honest. There's, it's not like, honestly, the only scenario with major difference in the ending is essentially, uh, uh, what's it called? The um, the refugees, which is I did all three, and this one I would have to play the scenario to do all three. So, but I I only did it because I, I I've done both and they're not different. It just changes its flavor text at the end is really what it is. So, so farewell. So we have to send workers, food, coal, and everything. So. New, uh, so saving New London. New London's economy is in shambles, so we will need a lot of coal to keep them warm. Due to the cold and a lot of their workers are sick, which means our people will have to replace them. Infirmaries will heal the gravely ill, but to build them, we will need steel and steam cores. Their food economy is stretched to the maximum since the beginning, so uh, shipment of food rations will be great aid. All right. So you go ask them, and so Hot Springs goes, Your decision to pr preserve the bigger and, and more advanced society will affect us all. For good or ill, only time will tell. We, we believe that if we exert ourselves, we will take care of uh, take care of the food shipment for New London. Other tasks are in our hands, so thank you. So they will send the food for me. And shipwreck camp. We heard you chose to spare the Toffs. Too bad, it's your choice. As we said, a lot... Um, Alas, we will too have to face the consequences. We will send them workers they need to get on on their good side and and to keep an eye on them. We know a thing or two about janitors. Having built a few, we'll have a look at theirs. Thank you. Children's Mind. We rejoice at the news that you decided to help New London. After so much death, every saved life is more precious. We should double. We will double our efforts and send uh, deliver the coal shipment for them, so you don't need to trouble yourself with it. Thank you. So, if we speed it up. Oh yeah, they're already sending it. So we look at outgoing. They're sending out uh, 200 food, 50 workers, and 3,000 coal is what they what they bring. The only thing they haven't done is uh, the lovely ste steel and steam cores. So we need to we need to do that for them. And that's it. That's it. That's all. That's all there is to it. We have uh, four days to do it effectively. So that's it. Maybe should have done the Steam Core upgrade on the on the last thing, but I don't know. I don't really bother with it. Doesn't matter. It's okay. We'll get Steam Cores eventually. A note of thanks. We want to thank you. Back in London, it was only the wealthy that di that didn't have to send their kids to work. In this new world that you're creating, we can see that things will be different. It was the right thing to do. I hope we'll rise. So I can make the hot house if I want, but I'll just do this deal. It's okay. We can just end the scenario now. This Really, uh, nothing to do with the... Uh, well, it's actually... Yeah, it's a coal mine. Uh, you can't upgrade them anymore after this point, so they're kind of just done. So. The big shipment of coal you sent us is essential for our survival. The generator is acting up even on the lowest settings. Many buildings don't have enough heat. Now we'll do what we can to keep people warm and healthy. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Do I have to? Yeah, I'll just I'll just destroy one of these buildings. It's okay. We're not doing any more research, anyway. So we can actually just to destroy them both, to be honest. What what purpose do they serve? None. We're just gonna need to get the uh, the last coal, coal uh, and that's it. So, all right, here's another one. 
Sending us food rations, you've accomplished more than just saving us from starvation. You've re rekindled hope amongst our people. They're still hungry, but we know what to look to to deliver. Uh, but we know what it took to deliver this much, and we appreciate that a lot. Glad you're right. You know, 200 will not last very long. And I'll, actually, speaking of which, I need to go ask for more food. So, because we're kind of running low on food there. And we can get some more, uh, I don't know. Give me some more wood. I, I don't know, because I, I don't really care. They already did everything for me. There's nothing else that they can possibly do to me. And we can't overtime them either, so. That's not like the, the wood's actually perfectly fine. Science is out of stencil. Workers you sent us are a great help. Nearly all our facilities are understaffed. Many of the workers are sick and even more are weakened by hunger. Your people will give us hope that we still have a chance. All right, we'll uh, have the wind supports in there and then we'll send out the, the last shipment. There we go. Because that's what I'm responsible for because no one else does steal. Uh, you'd, think that the, you'd think that the children mind does steal given about all the stuff I asked them, but yeah. Always, always funny, always amusing. Ah, yes, let's get some... Oh, we don't need more wood, so we'll just leave that be. So long hours of toil, I won't address that, I don't care. <laughs> it's all good. We're gonna leave it the way it is. So we got, like, lots of coal. Don't I didn't even have to make more than two gathering posts. I didn't really bother. This thing's kind of nice, the steam coal thumper, if no other reason than just to have the extra insulation, you know. It's, uh, oh, we don't have to do anything else. That's it. We can even send, like, uh, people somewhere else, but that's it. All right. The end. The city is safe. We did it. New London is no longer in the dangerous collapse. It was a trying time for us all, full of strife and discord, but it's all behind us now. Despite the misunderstandings and unnecessary grudges, we saw past our differences and lent a helping hand to those in need. The last city on earth remains to be the best hope of mankind. But how long will the people remember this lesson? That it was discord, not the great storm that turned out to be the ultimate threat. I agree. Discord is the ultimate threat. What a terrible program. Honestly, well done. Uh, I've actually never done this on Survival before, but I did on Extreme as a test, so... Because saving and loading is great. I hate Discord, guys. Especially those Discord Nitro users, they're terrible. It was Discord that caused all the problems. Well, thankfully, this this one actually uh, doesn't have any bugs associated with at least the ending. So, the last item actually tended to be the, the buggiest one out of all of them. It was really bad. And we became Discontent Rises. We love Discontent Rises. To stand against New London, we found allies. You can just watch all those, like, trees evaporate in the background there. So this is the uh, scenario that's the critically, uh, it's a mixed reviews on Steam actually. So that should give you a good idea of what people thought about it. Uh, people were not a big fan of it. They, they did not really like this one. I have to say, I don't really like this one either that much. I will still play it over Winter Home. Uh, it's, it's a lot of like text, a lot of reading, and it's not very difficult and the choices don't really matter that much. Uh, again, if I did the other path, I would just have to build a couple of buildings and then the text would change at the end to basically be like, yeah, fuck New London, they were assholes, kind of thing, and that's it. Yeah, Discord, Discord caused all the problems. New Territories of New London. United Territories of New London, that's what it is. Population 8877. This is important, the years. 1887 is the current year, 1916. This is actually in the original game. This is not an ad by a patch, this is always here. People were wondering what that meant. And uh, that's the that was a teaser for Frostpunk 2. And then we had the confirmation a little while ago that that with the trailer that they actually did have it. So uh, that was the that was the other little hint towards uh, there being a Frostpunk 2 underway. So so they are still making that. Uh, and that's uh, yeah. So again, this one's this one's not my favorite one, but it's I prefer it over Winter Home. It, it's kind of it's kind of nice in the way you can see all the previous places you saw and like what happened after the storm. Uh, so it had a lot of like little questions that it answered kind of thing there of like how did how did everything fare um it's still kind of weird like there's so many people that survived the storm 
Uh, so, so like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. That's the other thing that's kind of annoying. It's like, we did all this preparation for the, for the great storm. And yet, like, it seems like everybody still survived outside of it. Cause there, there's like, what, like five there, not, not, not counting the outposts, like the shipwreck camp and the, uh, the hot springs and all that. Well, hot springs is implied that came from new Manchester and, uh, the shipwreck camp, they were, yeah, they somehow survived in the hull of the ship. And the children's mines, they get, just went really super deep underground, I guess, is what they did for that. But then there's like all these other outposts were just like sitting out there and just like, oh, they survived for some reason. Um, but who knows? I don't know. But, anyways, yeah, so um, pretty understandable why it wasn't necessarily a very critically acclaimed one, but that's pretty much the last one. Uh, that that they didn't do any other content for this, uh, that is worth doing. Like I said, there's endless mode, but I don't, I don't bother with that, so. Uh, it's not as interesting as you think so uh, that's that's it for that so like i said it, w it wasn't the worst like expansion i've ever done but obviously like it, it was kind of weird that you don't get to do the faith or order pass like it was short it was one of the problems last autumn was way better done than on the edge was um like you don't even go down those those paths the choices don't matter really uh like there's another ending just for flavor text it just felt rushed is what it was they ran out of time or something. I think they want to do more with it, but they just didn't. Um, kind of disappointing in that way. But, you know, all the other stuff was pretty good, or pretty solid up until then. And at least you got a little bit of, like, story context to it. I feel like it was a rather, like, not a complex, like, concept, but maybe a little bit complex of, like, having, like, a sort of strategy, like, overall, like, you know, managing different towns and relationships, but it just didn't really come through. Like I said, like, I, I showed you what I did. I just, for the most part, like, you don't have to really read it. You just go like, if you're planning on going for the ending of, uh, what's it called? If you're planning on going for the ending of uh, helping New London, then you just do whatever it takes to keep them happy and maybe vary it slightly with some of the choices. I don't even know what happens when you like help the children's mine all the way. They didn't put a lot of thought into that one because it's like, you don't need coal. <laughs> you really don't. And I'm able to make them loyal with just a couple of choices that don't really matter. I just do things that make them happy, and that's it. Uh, so, I, I, like I said, I've tried like s several different ways of doing it, and things don't, th things just don't majorly change. And then I had my scout die, which I'm really upset about. So RNG, fuck you. Anyways, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So whenever Frostwing Two comes out, whenever that's uh, whenever that's a thing, I will definitely cover it here. Uh, so we'll definitely play it here. Uh, probably not like as a blind run. I'll probably stream it as a blind run. And then when I kind of get the handle of the story, I'll probably do something similar to this where I kind of like, uh, you know, multiple playthroughs kind of outlined everything of pros and cons of certain choices, things like that. I kind of like this. This is a lot of fun to make for me. So I really like this game and any excuse to play it again is like a, a, an excellent excuse for me. I really had a lot of fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, I hope, I hope uh, a lot of the content moving forward on this channel is going to be essentially just things like this, where it's like we're just, uh, you know, going through some of these games, like just talking about, you know, the the impact of choices in it and things like that, which is, uh, and, and best general strategy and things like that, and just showing off things. So I think it's what my channel's always kind of been, but, you know, doing more of it, you know, has been a lot of fun. So I'm going to try and keep it up and go in this direction. We'll see. Well, let me know what you thought. And um, yeah, that's it. So... After this, I don't know what I'm doing next, uh, but we'll see. But, you know, I think we did a lot of Frostpunk, so hopefully that was enjoyable. Peace out, take care, and have a good one.